Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Expanded Sky playthrough. And hello to Chad. Good evening, Neon. Let's try our best again. As always, I forgot that we have the Igglybuff the Prodigy special episode. I'll do that next stream. This stream we will continue on our normal thing, mostly because, well, that's what I titled the stream. <laughs> We're going to Amp Plains today. That's what we gotta do. So, let us go. We've gone on 18 adventures. Bop, 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 bop. Oh. oh, yeah, I went back here to save my data. I almost forgot. Because last time, I was like, oh, I want to go and see what Diddly D guy... I keep forgetting his name, Krogunk. What Krogunk had in the swap shop. Let's see. We have Landslide Cave, Drenched Bluff. Since we're, we're here, I'll go ahead and see if there are any job bulletin board things that I want to grab. Please take me with you. We are never going to... <laughs> Show me Landslide Cave! No. Never. I'm never, ever going to do escort missions. No. I refuse. Uh, hmm. There's not really any here that are, like, super good for me. Not sure if I want to stock up. <laughs> We're not going to Mount Bristle. Mount Bristle is hell. Again, I am, like, 90% certain that... Mount Bristle is glitched for this ROM hack right now. I should I should probably report that at some point. Like, hey, I've gone to Mount Bris Bristle three times after the story beat, and every single time there has been an issue. Well, actually, I think I've gone like four or five times, but three out of those got the little semi-freeze crash diddly dee. Oh, yes, and before I forget, remember, everybody, when you are relaxing at home or whatever... Remember to take a nice big old sip of tea. To get you through your day, night, morning, evening. Let's see. Do we care about any of these mastermind? Ba -ba -da -ba. Like if we... I guess we could maybe stock up on Waterfall Cave stuff. Because Waterfall Cave isn't that bad. So long as we have some like confusion or... Like, sleep or stun, we should be able to annihilate them. But we're not going to go do that just yet. It's just that since they restock them every day, we might as well check and see before we go to Amp Plains. We're sorry to bother you. Not at all. You're a friend. Please get back our item. Please help us, Team Lost Light. Oh, we will. Anyon, I was on Etsy today and saw personalized posters of, uh, like, people in the Pokemon anime style. Look nice. That was always nice to see. <laughs> when the official Pokemon company won't give you posters, Etsy gets you posters. Granted, there's also the possibility that some of those Etsy posters are like stolen art, and people are like, Haha, I'm going to steal art and I'll make posters. <laughs> Which is a downside of unofficial sources. What was that like? I'm not sure. Is it? I've never bought things from Etsy. But I know there was, like, one, like, uh, shop place website where, like, ah, oh, we can come here and sell things and buy things. And there was, like, a scandal that that company wasn't doing much to protect people whose art and merchandise were being ripped off. Hi, isn't the weather wonderful? You two are settled into the guild, it seems. You went out on that expedition, too. Yeah, I'd say you're looking more and more like a true exploration team. Thank you very much. I just tend to look at fan-made stuff. Fan-made stuff does indeed sometimes be quite nice. Before we have everything, we gotta make sure our inventory is sorted out. Throw basically everything in. Throw our stick in, or maybe I should just sell the sticks. Man, our, our Kangaskhan storage is just filled to the brim. We got so many things. Oh, 
Bum, ba, ba, ba. Let's see, how many reviver seeds do we have? We need to... I like to have three on me just in case. I'm going to put the geopebbles in storage just so that we can see if we can get them, like, set up so they're not taking up two inventory slots. I think we have a good amount of orange berries, and we just need more apples. And, yeah, and then we gotta <laughs> maybe go in... Bibbidi B. <laughs> Make sure that everything is good. Our 99 Geo Pebbles. Now I just need to remember to set them and use them liberally. Apply liberally. Hmm. I'll take two apples. A blue gummy for me. Orange gummy for the boy. See, is there anything really in here? Hmm. I guess we can take some stun seeds just in case. I don't think I need violent seed. In case, we, even if we get into a boss fight. Ba ba ba. And yep, there are no other chests that came here. So things should be good. My sister did get a bathroom mat of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's a, That could be fun. Shame there's not much Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stuff. That is the downside, that even if Mystery Dungeon is a fan favorite, it's still niche. It's still a niche thing. So you might not get lots. Buy an apple. You should probably just be buying apples every single time. There are many kinds of treasures in this world. We've traveled far searching for those treasures. Want to hear what we're up to? We're on the hunt for the Golden Mask. It's an ancient mask from a long-lost civilization. Would you don't know anything about it? Unfortunately not. Aye, this is Zatu Appraisal. Appraise everything, please. Yes. Let the appraisal begin. Quee! Quee! Qua! 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 And so, it is revealed within the boxes were a patchy tooth, a flash! Oh, we can get that stuff in boxes? Neat. I wasn't expecting that. Kind of disappointed. I have less trading power now. I wonder why when you store things, I don't want to take things out. Taking things out would be much bad, yes. I would like to put them in. Thank you very much, Miss Kangaskam. Hey, what's happening? What's new for explorers in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Neon? Right now, we are... Basically just plotting our way to begin to go to Amp Plains so that we can get uh, the item for the Az Azuril and Meryl brothers. Because Team Skull are being a bunch of dicks again and stealing stuff. Gonna come down here. Yes, yes, yes. You're like, hey, come on. I have a job for you. I don't care. You're gonna be like, hey, escort me in like... M M Mount Bristle, the cursed place. Did you know that there are different kinds of prize tickets? It seems that you can win different prizes of different tickets. I heard there are different kinds of prize tickets have something to do with your explorer rank. Well, that kind of makes sense. Hello, Spinda. But yes, as I do my ritual of before going off, Yes, we are going to presumably go and fight Team Skull and Amp Plains for the poor little Water Brothers item because Team Skull just doesn't know when to quit. And then I don't know what's going to happen next. A light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth. My IQ went up. Huzzah. Didn't get lucky, but oh well. It rose my IQ either way. And an orange gummy for the boy. I find it hilarious that we just have gotten so many for the boy. Granted, I don't think there's a dark type starter in the main game, so it's just possible that like, oh, you got Rialu? You can choose a Rialu early on. So, kind of makes sense. Ooh, non-trader, so I guess he won't hit me at all. If only I could get that. Let's see. Is it automatically activated? I forget. Exclusive move user. Nope. Uh, non-trader already activated. If this Pokemon confused or cowering, it, well, that's very nice. He already has honor. But yes, last time, we, I do believe, finished off Fogbound Lake, 
Dusk Noir came to town. Another time gear got stolen, and then I think we witnessed the third one getting stolen, so that's fun. And yeah, Team Skull don't know when to quit, so we're gonna head off to Amp Plains and hopefully not die. Let us go! <laughs> Your storage looks more clean than mine. That's because I hit the organize button. I, I try to do that sometimes because it, it, it just eases it since, I, since the storage is so big. The storage is just so huge that it just made sense to do that. <laughs> this must be the entrance to Ant Plains. I can't imagine what sort of bullies would do something like this. I mean, threatening little kids like those brothers really stinks. We have to get their water float back, Neon. But what would have happened if I, like, had a water float by now? Could I just be like... Hey, kids. <laughs> Worry not. Well, this is some bumpin' music. This is some nice music. It definitely fits like an electronic vibe to this place. Hello, Ella Kid. I throw... Oh, yeah, I need to set the Geo Pebbles. Prepare to get geo city, bitch. Rock. And smack. Damn it. Fine. Get 69, bitch. You, you make me waste my power points, I murder you. And yeah, I just have the rocks, I can do this. If only I had that so I wouldn't want AD snipe my partner accidentally. The techno is going hard in this place. It is. Yes. For some reason lately, I've just been, like, falling deeper and deeper into the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon hole. My brain's just like, more. Like, oh, you bastard. How dare you? How dare you use two moves in a row? That's my stick. I'm the intelligent Pokemon here. Also, I just realized we're almost at over 100 health. I don't think that's going to save us much. Because <laughs> in this game, Pokemon... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's beginning. The Nightmare Realm. <laughs> the traps are coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. I... Traps were one of my least favorite things in Rescue Team. I hope it's not gonna be bad. Oh no. Wait, everything else seems to be a dead end, so we're gonna head to the exit. Oh no. You bastard. I'll just smack you. We'll be on our way. Man, yeah, back to my thoughts. Mystery Dungeon has just been absorbing my soul again lately. It seems to happen. Every now and then I'm like, I remember Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That's fun. Then I just fall down the rabbit hole of Mystery Dungeon, looking at art, fanfics, and my brain is like, hey, your own fanfic. Make your own. It just keeps on going. I really need to draw Mystery Dungeon more. Right now, brain is sli slightly obsessed with drawing my quote-unquote Pokesona. Because Brain was just like, hey, design Pokemon. Draw it now. And thus have. Diggity D. There's gonna be worse traps from here on out. Yep. Nightmare world. Nightmare, nightmare. Orenberries won't be a full heal if you get over 100 HP. Eh. Never really noticed that. Probably because by the time I get to 100 HP, I don't really need, like, orange berries that much. I keep forgetting that you're a jerk. At least you don't do a ton of damage. Why? Oh, fine then. Die. Get rocked, idiot. Get rocked. And then smacked. But now I wonder if I'm gonna run into monster houses or not. I don't think I have yet, but even then, in Rescue Team, I don't think I ran into many monster houses. 
Why are there three items just in here? If I pick up an item, will it suddenly become a monster house? Interesting. Whenever I see a ton of items, I just get paranoid. <laughs> right when I was talking about monster houses, too. Yeah, my chimchar once fell into a fall trap. Ouch. Ah, son of a bitch. I've been paralyzed. Silas, help me. On we go to the exit. Not really exit, but it is way forward. We're not here to speedrun, we're here to kill and get items. So that we can be nice, big, and strong. You're gonna quick attack me, aren't you? Son of a bitch. Level up time for the boy! Ooh, you can learn a new move. What's the new move? Screech. Don't think that's really gonna be helpful because right now we have your... Yeah, because we're not really in that line of diddly dean. Awesome, I leveled up! Yes, you did. If there's like five to seven items in the room, that's a monster house. It's too good to be true. Either that or like a shop. But then if you see a shop, you know it's a shop. Sorry, Ella Kid, but this is a story dungeon. And we're probably, we might run into a boss fight, and I don't want that. I don't want you absorbing all our reviver seeds. Oh, hey, it's a TM! And of course we're getting hungry and it's only level four. Vacuum cut, isn't that also another mystery dungeon exclusive TM? I think it's like white something and then something or no, I don't know. I'm not a Pokemon expert, I'm a fool. Come along, little man. You are here to die. It's kind of cute that Plusle and Minin are here. Able to be annihilated. Oh, hey, Giraffarig. Don't worry, we'll get to murdering you soon. Rock. Rock. Technically Pebble, but Rock. That's a bit of overkill, Silas. Getting dizzy from Hongwa. Bum, 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 bum. Guess we can eat just a normal apple. Om nom time. When you're adventuring off into danger and you need a snack. Sorry, Giraffe Rig. We are. Again, story levels could give boss fights. Seigneur. I don't want to risk it. I'm not going to risk it for a biscuit. Not really even that much of a biscuit person. Come get smacked in face with rock. <laughs> Geo Pebbles, I wonder if they should do more damage against electric types. I think that'd be funny. Oh, wait, would that work? I don't know. I'm bad with typing. Sorry, Ella Kid. Die. Money is mine. <laughs> How dare you tackle me, you darn sheep. Leave the boy alone. He's not even a steel type yet. No paralyzing my ally friend. He is but a dear boy. How dare you. Die. We are getting a decent amount of... Then again, I guess it kind of makes sense that we're getting a decent amount of treasure. We have a bigger, like, uh, treasure chest now. Back in, like, Rescue Team, you only had, like, a set amount. Now they're actually upgrading it, so you can get more stuff without too much worry. I think in the mainline Pokemon games, it's called Vacuum Wave, maybe. I could Google it for if you want. Yeah, if you want to. It's just, I remember, like, listening to a YouTube short that mentioned only two Pokey. How dare you? But that mentioned that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon has two unique TMs that are exclusive to Mystery Dungeon, if I'm a w uh, correct. And now whenever I see a move, I'm like, is that it? 
I think one is like called wide cut or something. So I don't know. I could be wrong and just regurgitating incorrect information like a fool. All right, die. How dare you use agility, you monster. You absolute freak of nature. Nobody loves the speedy people. Do you see people talking about Sonic the Hedgehog anymore? No, it's because he traveled to the future and died. He was too fast, too furious. It's Wide Slash. What the fuck? What? It. Hidden stairs. An enticing scent lingers in the air. What in the world could these stairs lead to? Don't kill me! Okay! I don't think we have money for anything, maybe. Aha! Uh -huh. What? Hee <laughs> hee, hello, this is mine, Junior Spa. For just a hundred, I'll restore all your stuff. Sure. Healing beam! I mostly did that for the PowerPoints. What do you think? Feeling better? Come back any time, as if we have choice. Good afternoon and congrats, you found the secret bazaar. I'm Curly of the Bazaar Guide. Feel free to explore the shops here. I'm Shed Ninja, the escape guide. I know a secret way out of the dungeon. I don't want to leave the dungeon, there's a story. Oh, why? Come and find me if you ever want to escape the dungeon. And what about you? Hello and welcome, explorers. I've got some wonderful, wonderful crab bags here. You never know what's inside. Try one and see. Money means nothing to me. Amazing grab bag. A yellow gummy. Wonderful, amazing grab bags. What was inside? Something amazing. Sure, I'll buy, like, two more, I guess. A Pekka Berry. I have a lot of money in s one more. Sure, this is gambling. Let's gamble. We're in the bazaar today. I got a great gummy. We got two gummies. That's not bad, really. And what about you? Blue, blue, you have items that you've gotten sticky. I'll clean up all the item thing of Twiffle Bag for a hundred. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Blag that sticky items come back, but hey, Secret Bazaar, I guess. No, thank you. Whoa, come back any time your items get sticky. Interesting. Alright, cool. Neat. Never had that before. Oh, well, that's not good at all. You dare attack me? I've just become refreshed, you fool! My power. What's a pure seed? My brain is just like, this is a thing! And he's like, yeah, I know it's a thing, but what is it? Warps the Pokemon to the floor of the room with the floor stairway. Interesting. So that's kind of a... Mm, you need to die. <laughs> Ooh, I can learn a new move. What is it? Taunt. Afflicts the targeted enemy with the taunted status condition, which restricts a Pokemon to using only moves that inflict damage. I don't want that. Or do I want that? The only time I'd ever want to do that is against a boss, and those do lots of damage. I'm just going to keep my, like, normal thing. If worse comes to worse, we can always go to Electivire and remember it again. But yeah, when it comes to, like, super strategy, I'm not an intelligent being. I'm, a, I'm but a fool. I look at strategy and go, but I could be doing damage. How dare you die? And now we're now we're doing over a hundred damage semi regularly. Fear me. Feed me. Feed me, Seymour. I don't think I've ever even watched what that was from. All I know is the quote. 
Prepare to die, little sheep. Go out to pasture, and by that I mean die. Well, stamina band. I don't care about no stamina band. I have stamina band in storage. Sleep seed. Nice. If we do run into... You look scary. Die. Man, I definitely need to, like, draw more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Have more fun with it. Become Lucy Goosey. And just draw. And as I say, trade uh, perfect for done. And just draw a lot more. But perfectionist brain is mean and wants me to suffer. How dare you? You, you will die for your ignorance. How about you? You want a rock? You have the rock now, and now you'll die. We got the double pickup. You can probably use the sleep on the upcoming boss. Exactly. <laughs> Whenever I go to a story mission, I'm just like, there's like a 50% chance there's gonna... Okay, no, you need to die. Jesus Christ, fucking die. Wasn't the worst amount of damage, but it was using moves back to back. Oh, what am I doing? I can stay here and zoop up the world. The one time you could use damage and move, Silas. The one time you chose to, to show mercy. Oh no. I know I've been killing your kids a lot, but be gone. Silas grew to level 25. Excellent, I leveled up! Good for you, Silas. You are a good bean. Oh no, the bug. <laughs> Not very effective. Still, like, annihilated 80% of its health. The all-hit orb. I presume that means that missing... Oh, dear God, that would be a devastating thing if that does what I think it does. You just put on a multi-hit move, throw that into the air, and the, the boss is dead. Um, I shall throw a rock at you. And now I smack you guys in the air. Quack, 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 quack. I was playing uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, and someone gave me a mission to save their kid. Uh, saw they were like 40 levels down, was like, nope. Depending on the dungeon, yeah. Like, that is a multi-mission trip. Please save my baby! I'm sorry, but that's, that's a fucking skyscraper. Mother... A single Pokemon was drawn close. In a corner. Where did it come from? Nobody knows. It came out of the wall. I didn't know Flappy could learn dig. At least the traps aren't evil. Sorry, lady, your kid's dead. Oh, what? Oh, this is a bop. This is interesting. But yeah, like, how how can a kid, just a child, go down 40 levels into a super dungeon and not die? It's weird. Midway point, yep. <laughs> you sure that wasn't the Kool-Aid man? It was the Kool-Aid Flaffy. He must be getting close to the deepest part, Neon. I don't know what awaits us. We better go really cautiously. Yes. Meanwhile, back at Treasure Town. Ah, I see. That's what happened to your water float. What a mean thing to do. So Neon's team is on the way there right now, yes? Yep. They said they would go get it for us. Good for you. You can rest easy knowing Team Lost Light is on the case. Yeah, that's true. You once saved Azuril, too. We're so grateful for their help. Good day to you all. Is something the matter? Hello, Dasknoir, sir. We're talking about Meryl's lost item. Do you remember? We discussed that very same thing here not long ago. Of course. I believe you're referring to the water float. I seem to recall you'd heard it was on the beach. Exactly, exactly. But now there's more to the story. Kecleon, explain to Dasknoir what happened, how it had taken place. I see. That is a terrible indeed. It's hard to imagine why anyone would do something so wretched. 
It must take some pathetic thugs to stoop so low. I just couldn't agree more to be so mean-spirited to children and to children so young as these brothers. It's so utterly unforgivable. One more thing. Where has Team Lost Light gone? They went to Amp Plains. Pardon? Did you say Amp Plains? But in Amp Plains at this time of year, it's the season for... No, this is ruinous. Team Lost Light is in grave danger. What? I must leave for Amp Plains immediately. What? Wait! Interesting. What is it? Thunder? Thunder year? Is lightning gonna strike the planes day in and day out? Again, this music is a, a, a high speed bop. A part of me wants to label it as anxiety inducing. Oh, hey, a stun seed. I took some of those. How dare you swift on me? How about you have a swift death? This music. Oh, did you open the box? <laughs> Every single time I see one, I'm like, yes! Closer to glory! Maybe I should do more grinding. Just maybe off screen. To gather up boxes for treasure. Hello, Yan Mega. How about you go Yan Die? Why, there's so many of these bugs here. How old do you think you can take on five opponents at once? Mm, we bo both, both uh, Silas and I have, like, abilities to kind of mitigate that. Oh, it's another box. We also have three Reviver Seeds, so maybe not bad, depending on how strong they are. We shouldn't be too terrible at time. Motherfucker! And I just got another Reviver Seed. Damn it, Shane, you're going the wrong way. Oh, no, it's Dodrio. That scares me. The last time I ran into one of them motherfuckers, danger happened. At least none of the, then again, warp, well, warp trap could be very dangerous in the wrong dungeon or situation. Far Ant Plains. The little whistle's interesting. Oh, it's Electrike, I think. Electrike? It's a little electric doggo. How dare you growl at my, my boyfriend. You must die. Hello, doggo. To hell with you. Ow, how dare you. Yeah, I had one, uh, had one on near the stairs. Oh, that's mean game. <laughs> well, actually, that kind of happened right there. It was in the same room with the stairs at the very least. It was a big room with stairs, but still. Um, die. Yes, more level ups for me. Haha, Yan Mega, you failed. You failing failure. To detention with you. Again, the music is just a bop. Although things are starting to survive more than one hit, so... This could bode poorly. On we go. Electric, that's right. <laughs> I have somewhat good memory sometimes. What do, what do we want to throw out for this year? Like, maybe a Warp Orb? And the Heal Seed. I, I don't really use Heal Seeds all that often. The only status conditions I'd really care to, like... You bastard. Like, as I was saying, the only real status condition I'd care to annihilate are, like, ones that... Well, I guess it could help against... Like, uh... 
what's the word? Confusion. Sorry, I like trike. Uh, we're in danger zone. Things are doing decent damage and surviving. I don't want to risk it. Hmm. We'll move on. <laughs> Stress-inducing enough. <laughs> oh, you're gonna... Dang it. Let me guess. Quick attack. No, no. You die. I'll just go ahead and smack you with my stab. Get rid of you. Level up time for the boy. <laughs> or curse. I mean, 30 damage every few steps. Ooh. Oh yeah, that would be a that would be a big thing you'd want to get rid of. But it's also kind of rare, so the only time that you would be able to prepare for it if you like know what dungeon has Pokemon that have that. Your first time in, <laughs> unless you just carry it with you. But then we get into inventory management hell. How many, uh, like, uh, what's the word? How many situational items do you bring with you? Blindly. How dare you run? You're a fully evolved bird. Get back here and die. It only gets rid of it if it's killing the ghost Pokemon. Yeesh. We're in dangerous zones now. This is one of the first dungeons which contain monster houses. So... A two-part dungeon that has the first, like, traps that I've ran into, unless I was just lucky and missed all the other ones. And then the, the follow-up second half that has the first monster, dun monster house dungeons. Another stun seed, but we already have two stun seeds, and then I think we got a third. Money. Hmm. <laughs> and if they're in the walls, you're dead. Yeah, because ghosts, ghosts are bastards in this game. Drop eye seed. Forget what you do. I'm gonna go ahead and eat an apple though to keep us going. <laughs> now that rem I don't even know what it's from, but that reminds me of the meme that was going on for a while. He's in the walls. He's in the goddamn walls! I don't even know what that's from. It's uh, like an Adult Swim, like, puppet show. I don't know. Yeah, we're getting into uh, higher leveled enemy territory. I think I'm definitely going to want to uh, take on, like, normal dungeon runs. After this, <laughs> that's how it feels. <laughs> yep. Oh, hey, it's an Amphros. Aren't you like a major character in Super Mystery Dungeon? It's been five billion years, I don't know. But <laughs> that sounds familiar. A lot of memes came from that show. Or at least a lot of people posting clips of certain parts of that one. At least I think it's a show. Oh, Jesus Christ! Thank God that it failed to work. A heal seed. I dropped one of you not too long ago. Hello, oh, like the buzz. I think you're like the last Pokemon in here that dies in one hit. Get out of here. I think the music is starting to affect me. <laughs> the wall thing. Yeah. Gotta get out of here. All right, is this just gonna be a big old circuit? Yeah. Why do I have the feeling that we're going to like... Let's see. What the fuck's a sperm orb? My brain almost said sperm orb. Ord? Orb. Warps all enemies to the random locations. Interesting. Get out of here. <gasps> it's a box! It's a box! I want the box! The box shall come with me! The box is mine! What 
shall get rid of? What shall be gone? Heal seed. Yeah. You try to hit me. I kill you back. Uh-oh. The music stopped. Remember. Uh, drink your tea. Hell's coming. Uh, what a menacing place. Wah! It's incredible. It looks like lightning can strike this place any time. We should get away from this, pla this oh, place this scary as fast as... Huh? Over there! It looks like a bangle. Is that it, Neon? The water float? The, you truly are the lowest scum in history quote from Jojo is how I feel about Team Skull. <laughs> Uh, yari yari dozy. Let's get a closer look. W wah! Why did you come here? This is our territory! There's someone here! Hide, Neon! <laughs> so you're going to hide like that. That's kind of cute. Alright. We'd actually be grateful if you kept doing that. We'll sneak quietly to get as close as we can. All right. Let's take them out! Ugh, not like this! If we stay here, it's over! Who are you? Show yourself! <laughs> My name is Man... Main... Manectric? My name is Manectric. I am. I am the leader of these Electric. Oh, Jesus. Wah! Now prepare to fight! Oh, Jesus! Alrighty then. I'm gonna quickly make sure that I use the right move. Pursuit! Ah, uh, crap, they know s fast move. But at least you're right here, so, um... Sleep Seed! I almost hit Eat. At least the Electrikes are, like, lowly little beasts. I'll smack away... Then again, I pr pr probably... I need to take off his Endurability. Right. So that you just don't double up. Get 69, did it? I like the boss music though. Get smacked. And he's back up. Wasted his move, though. I should be able to petrify him, probably. Because I... Or actually, we should have, like, other... We have some stun seeds. So... Stun seed! Neat that I can actually work on him. Nine opponents. I think you need some help, Neon. Should have accepted the little kid. Now, Ella Kid would have been hounded to death and wasted reviver seeds. And Reviver Seed, oh well. I'll whack you out. Start whacking you down. Good job. And only lost one Reviver Seed, which I got a Reviver Seed this dungeon. You dare! Wait a second! We honestly haven't come to make claims on your territory! Enough! Take this! Wah! Stop! Stop this instant. Their words are sincere. They trespass, but they don't intend to make claims on your territory. 
Dusknor. You. Who are you? I am the explorer, Dusknor. Manectric, you have every right to be angry, especially in light of what your tribe has suffered on these grounds. Your hostility toward any that trespass here is natural. This place is your haven, a place where you find solace. I understand that completely. On behalf of these unwitting trespassers, I offer the sincerest apology. They entered here unbidden, but did so without malice. They mean no harm. We will leave you in peace as soon as our errand is complete. Please believe me. Menectric! Hmm. You seem to know much about us, Dusk Noir. You make the claim that they mean no harm. So be it. I choose to believe your words, Dusk Noir. I will allow you some time. I expect you to be gone by our return. I don't know, I feel like I could have beaten them. Come. Yeesh. Bruh. You know, I kind of think that uh, what people do if there was a challenge the leader action where he just goes towards the strongest Pokemon. Huh, that could actually be interesting. Or at least, like, target... Well, actually, I think there are ones that are like, hey, target the weakest one to knock him out quickly to leave the bigger one. Who knows? <sighs> Thank you, Desk Noir, sir. You saved us, but who were they? A group of Menectric and Electric. They are a nomadic people that always stays on the move. They roam in constant search of places that are hospitable. I guess I did say that, but I mispronounced it terribly. <laughs> in search of places that are hospitable to them. And Amp Plains is often lashed by thunderstorms this time of year. They find it to their liking, so they dwell in Amp Plains this time of year. But tragically, they were once attacked by enemies here without warning, and they understand that they suffered terrible injuries. Ever since, Menectric's group has been very sensitive about trespassers here. So if anyone trespassed upon these grounds, well, they would strike first for fear of being stricken. Somehow, at some point, that became a law among Menectric's group. I understand now. That's why they were so intent on attacking. It's no wonder they refused to hear our arguments. Oh, I forgot something! Our goal seeing the water float over there! It's here! This is it! Dusk Noir, sir, is this the... There's no mistaking it. Without a doubt, this is a water float. Really? We did it! Let's return the item to Meryl and his little brother right away! There's something I don't understand, though. How did this water float end up here? I would imagine that it was put here deliberately. Whoever did this knew that you would eventually get to this spot. The fact that Menectrix protects its territory is well known. Someone expected a confrontation between you and Menectrix. You were set up. Wasn't that your intention? You sneaking scoundrels! What? It's about time that you came out of hiding and showed yourselves. <laughs> so you knew all along. No point in hiding them. Where'd they even come from? Hey! It's you, Fugs! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> So you guys did it! But why? Whoa! We were going to wait for you to get stomped by Manectric. Then we were gonna step in and mop up afterward. <laughs> but we didn't count on this guy meddling. Shall we settle this? <laughs> sure! If it was just Team Lost Light, you can bet that we'd rough him up good. But against the world famous Dusk Noir. That's a different story. Let's skedaddle, boys! Yes! Yeah. What stinkers! I've never for I'm never forgiving those thugs! They certainly are quick when it comes to skedaddling. I'm afraid our effort would be wasted if we were to give chase now. I think we should deliver the water float to the young brothers. Could be the a uh, high risk, high reward action. Yeah. 
But yeah, we only lost one reviver seed. Not bad. Uh, oh, wow. We got our water flow back. Hey, thank you. Really. You saved Azura way back when, and now this. I don't know how we could ever thank you. But really, thank you. Oh, please. It's okay. If you want to thank anyone, thank the great Dusknoir. If Dusknoir hadn't been there, we wouldn't be here now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Desk Noir, sir. No trouble at all. I'm very happy for you. It's wonderful that your water float has come back to you. I must say, it is so like the great Desk Noir to be so modest. And I must say that Team Lost Light has also been superb. After all, the team has again completed a difficult job. When rescuing Azuril, you were so fast at pinpointing the child's whereabouts. And so fast at reaching our young friend, too. Oh, about the Azuro rescue, we have to admit something. It would be great if it truly happened the way Kecleon said. But that's not really the truth. We didn't pin down Azuro's location before we rescued him. My partner here just happened to see it in a dream. Excuse me. A dream, you say? By dream, what do you mean? Oh, that's right. Maybe the Great Dusk Noir will know what it means. You see, my partner occasionally gets strange dizzy spells when touching something or someone. And then my partner sees or hears events that happened in the future. Or just about to happen in the future. What? Well, that's... that's... the dimensional scream. What? Dusknoir, sir, you really know something about this? In that case, should we ask if Dusknoir knows even more? Ask about what? Oh, right! About my own forgotten past. It's okay to ask, right, Neon? Dusk Noir, sir, we were wondering if we could get your advice about something. I see. So you found our friend unconscious right here. Yes, right here exactly. Then you regained consciousness, though you'd lost your memory. Yes, with, an, with a memory of a name. And the memory of being a human before this. I beg your pardon? Uh, human? But our friend here seems to be a Pokemon in every obvious way. That's true. I guess this is even beyond the Great Dusknoir's understanding. But we're certain that something caused my partner's memory loss. And caused the transformation from human to Pokemon. A human with dimensional scream ability. You are... You said you know your name, at least. And... That name would be... I'm Neon. Neon told the name to Dusknoir. Ah, I see. You're... Neon. Does that name mean anything to you? No. It means nothing to me, unfortunately. Uh, what? Did I just see... The faintest? Did Dusknoir just hide the faintest of smiles? Or did I imagine that? I'm sincerely sorry I couldn't help you with that. However, I do know about the ability that Neon possesses. Oh, really? What is it? The ability to see the future or the past by touching something. That ability is known as the Dimensional Scream. Dimensional Scream? Indeed. How such an ability is learned, that is unknown. But sounds and images slice across the boundaries of time. Breaching objects and reaching into Pokemon to manifest as visions. And that is all that I know about the extraordinary ability. So Neon has an ability as, as special as the Dimensional Scream. Well, perhaps this is why we became friends. To help unravel the secret of Neon's transformation into a Pokemon. I offer you my full cooperation. Oh, you will? Yes, to be perfectly candid, I can't stand knowing there's something I don't know. Quite honestly, that is the full truth of it. <laughs> it's thrilling to know that we have your help, Dusk sir. Isn't this great, Neon? Birds? Hey, look at all the pleper. Oh, that's so good. I love it. Love it. There appears to be a lot more in the air than usual. Could something be the matter? Hey! 
Hello, Badoof. Hello, Badoof. Uh, I f finally found you all. That's not his voice at all. What the fuck? What's Badoof's voice again? Oh, golly. Yeah. He's more like fish. I f finally found you all. Still too British, though. Damn it. What's the big hurry? You're all out of breath. The call has been put out. B why did I forget Badoof's voice? It's more like... No, it's too British. What the fuck? Oh, gee. Golly, I l you two are the greatest. All the apprentices are to report to the guild immediately. I can't b Why am I can't do it anymore? <laughs> 10 out of 10 game. It is very, very fun. I would say something, but spoilers. So this looks like a uh, younger me seeing an airplane. <laughs> uh oh, something's up. I will go with you. Hurry, everyone. I can't believe I forgot how to do Badoof's voice. Would you like to save your adventure? At least I knew his voice back when I did the Bidoof specials episode. Oh, golly. Oh, chapter 11, Grovile the Thief. Uh, come on, hurry. <laughs> Everyone's here, yep, yep. You pushed Diglett out of the way. Sorry, everyone. We just got told the call went out, so we came running. What's going on? Another time gap was stolen. What? Not another one. From where now? Where was this time gear stolen from? Well, it... Um, what's the problem? Did it happen in you somewhere you don't want to talk about? Wait. It wasn't the one from... Yes, it was. This time... Time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Huh? But, but how? The time gear that was at Fogbound Lake. Only we knew about that, right? So who could do this? It couldn't be. That a member of the guild talked, could it? What? That was uncalled for! Hey, hey, hey! Don't you trust your fellow members? Uh, sorry, that was uncalled for. You're right. No one would break our vow of secrecy. It just never happened. I should have thought before I spoke. I'm sorry. Well, it's no wonder that you'd leap to that conclusion. I mean, this horrible thing did happen right after our expedition. Just one moment. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. There was a time gear at Fogbound Lake. I did not know that. Did I not hear quite a different tale about your recent expedition? I recall being told that your expedition to Fogbound Lake ended in failure. I apologize, Great Dusk Noir. We made a promise, so we couldn't tell even you, Dusk Noir. Anyway, a lone intruder slipped into Fogbound Lake, knocked out Yuxi, and made off with a time gear. Yuxi! Is Yuxi all right? Yes, Yuxi is fine. He's under the protection of Magna's own squad. No need to worry. Whew, I'm glad to hear that. Wait, there's more. According to Yuxi's victim statement. I, that's kind of amusing, in a darkly humorous way, that even legendaries can give victim statements. <laughs> he knows something. He is the great all-knowing Dusk Noir. So who knows? The intruder's identity has been revealed. Then fess up. What kind of critter are we dealing with? There's already a wanted poster up for the thief. See for yourselves. That's a nice art. This Pokemon goes by the name of Grovile. Oof, that's one nasty piece of work. Grovile. So this is the Pokemon. The thief who's stealing the time gears. This wanted poster just arrived. It was issued based on Yuxi's statement. It arrived as part of an all-points bulletin. Oh, that figures. That's why all those Plipper were flying around. Officer Magnazone obviously doesn't want to see things worsen. They put a remarkably high bounty on the thieving Grovile. We promised Yuxi. We promised not to reveal the secret of Fogbound Lake. Then this happens. We didn't leak the secret, but... I'm ashamed to show my face in front of Yuxi now. Hey, hey! Here's what sticks in my craw! The view there has been ruined! And hey, hey! I just can't forgive that! Uh... Hey, Guildmaster! Uh, 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 Guildmaster! Uh, 
Everyone, we'll catch Grovile. We'll catch that thief. I vow it upon the name of Wigglytuff's Guild. Shut up, if you will. G yes! <clears throat> okay, everyone. From here on out, we are putting our full focus on capturing Grovile. Do your best to bring Grovile to justice. It goes without saying. Hey, hey, hey. There's no way we can let any more time gears get stolen. Come on, everyone. Let's pull together. Let's do it for Yuxi. Wigglytuff, I believe I understand the situation now. I will join in your guild's pursuit of Grovile. Thank you, you great Dusk Noir. Golly, having the great Dusk Noir in our corner is a mighty heartening. I finally kind of, kind of refound Boodoo's voice. <laughs> We're honored. No, no, it's my honor entirely. At present, the Guildmaster and I shall confer. We will devise a strategy for finding Grovile. In the meantime, you should all start preparing to go on searches. Return here when you are ready to leave. Okay, everyone, let's outdo ourselves! Hooray! Let's hurry and get ready, Neon. Let's start preparing with a visit to Treasure Town. That's very... Bibbidi ba. What's the word? Inspiring. Take the money. I want to say something about Dialga's Pokedex entry. It says that Dialga's heartbeat makes time run. Huh. Interesting. I guess it kind of makes sense. He is linked to time. <laughs> but justice is blind, not cruel. I have to get a move on and pack. Whew. Let's catch that thieving, Grovile! <laughs> oh, Neon and Silas, there are many polypper flying about fi filling the sky. I've never seen so many polypper in the sky at once. Did something happen at the guild? The guild's Pokemon seem to be in a panic or something. I will lend my support to capturing that thieving Grovile. Let us work together and catch that Grovile. Whenever I hear that quote of justice is blind, not cruel, reminds me of uh, Dr. Fate from Injustice 2. Justice is blind, not heartless. We must catch, capture that dreadful Grovile. We've heard. They've identified the thief who's been stealing time gears. We of Team Flame will participate in the hunt for Grovile. I'll work up my courage for this. I've heard that they're stealing the Time Gears is named Grovile. Can't say that I've heard of them. Come on, what about good old Shane from Pokey... Like, what is it? Uh, what is it? I think it's like... Pokey Town Center or something? He became a Grovile. Yo, you know everyone seems to be busy and stressed out! Is something the matter? I saw those Polypper in the sky too! There's no fool in me! Something is happening and it's bad. Yo, Zatu! This is up to appraisal. I have boxes. Let the appraisal begin. Quick, quick, qua, qua, and so it is revealed within the boxes were an electrofang, an electrofang, a togepi do. What more do you wish? Hello there. I'd like to store lots of shit. Yeah, now the store is really amping up. I guess I'm going to keep, like, at least one... Oh, did I reach my max, or do they just not take plane seeds? Nope. I'm gonna have to go to recycling. I'll take another apple. I need to stock up on these. Alright. Now we need to go do lots of recycling. I don't think I'll need money. 
Oh, wait a minute. I do want to keep my money just in case because I want to check and see if Crow Gunk like got anything new in. I want to win big. Uh, I hear that when you win big on the prize ticket, there's a celebratory dance. Yeah, we saw that last time. I wonder what you get when you win big. They send in the dancing lobsters. Did you hear the happy news? Why not? Thanks to everyone's recycling efforts, Project P recently made a new discovery. This time, treasure was discovered, so we're offering a higher grade of recycled items. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna check the swap shop. After we do some recycling. And what new things can we get? Uh, cleanse orb now, but we're gonna go for silver ticket. Let's see. Maybe I should have brought in a bunch of, like, gummies to drink. Alright, we definitely need to swap out some you. Yes. I forget what I selected last time. We'll begin with red. Red bright! Is it a win? Is it not? Nope, it's not a win. Oh, well. Here's a consolation prize. A max elixir's not a bad, not a bad uh, consolation prize. I have lots of things that I need to, like, swap in. I really should have organized my diddly D. All right, some transfer orbs, a spurn orb. Let's see. I guess a hold at all. Because I'm not going to be using them, so I should train them in. All right, we tried red, so how about blue? Right, blue! Is it a win or is it not? Oh, is it a win? That's right! We won the day! Wow, that's wonderful! That's so great, why not take your prize? Toxic! I can't believe he gave me an abusive relationship. Got more recycling to do. I have way too many max elixirs, I should probably get rid of some of them. Gotta make room. My poor, poor treasure. Hope oh, I got red. Then again, I think it might have reset because we got a win. I probably should have done yellow. Oh no, we did get a win. That's right. Next time we'll do yellow then. Wow, that's wonderful. That's so great. Why not take your prize? Ooh, huge apple. I think that fills your belly and increases it. And now my brain just went, and thus, some people attained a light fetish. Uh, not that many cherries. A few orin. Oh, hey, that uh, plain seed. Let's get that out of here. Oh, yeah, and I also have a plain seed in my bag, I do believe. Another plain seed. Let's see, is there anything up here that I would throw in. I really need to drink more gummy diddly dees here. Because I have so many bibbidi bop bippity bit up. Activate the silver. Alright, I do want to redeem it. And yellow. To see if my theory is correct. So when is it not? Aha! Three wins in a row, bitches! There's another larger apple? Apparently so. Because I believe it goes apple that fills like 50%, big apple that fully fills your belly, then huge apple which fills and increases belly capacity. And I got a pure seed. I think that... I forget, what does that do? Pure seed. Ah, that doesn't feel like a big win for me. 
And I think we have some gummies that in my bag that we can go ahead and nom nom on. Or did I put those away? I think I put those away. Again, it would be nice if the juice bar let you select gummies from your storage. 55% is normal apple. I was just going based off of random vibes, and I always got like, eh, it's about 50%. And we're gonna quickly go to Sharkpedo Bluff because we haven't come here in a bit. Ah, he's not here, but now we can praise the sea. Oh, great and mighty stick. <laughs> when it comes to these games, I don't really know specifics a lot of the time. I just go by vibes. Now that we kind of cleared out our... Oh, wait, I forgot. I should grab some gummies. And we'll raise our gummy diddly-dee at Spinda's Bar. Why did I say it weirdly? Ding, ding, ding. I want to take some gum-gums. First things first, rearrange. Let's see. We'll take a brown to purple... No orange. I guess clear. And then a royal gummy. We'll take all these gummies with us. And we'll num 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 all day long. I don't know why I'm hoarding them. I should just eat them. Unless there's like a limit to how many gummies you can turn into juice per day. Which would be a weird semi-arbitrary thing in my opinion. But then at the same time, who knows? I'm not a game designer. I'm just a person that goes hibble dee dee. I'll just blast through them all. I'll probably do that at some point. Also, I just kind of realized, I think this is the first time that we've went on a mission and come back and it's technically the same day. I hope it doesn't, damn it, it automatically goes. Now I see everyone is with us. I'm not ready. I was going to go to Crow Gunk, but luckily we saved just before this, so we can just do this. Sorry, Chatot, I'm going to drink my gummies. Once again, special thanks to the Expanded Sky ROM Hack mod. Link to it can be found in the YouTube stream and episodes. Since you can still get good buffs uh, with the RNG. Yep, yep. You never want to eat them in this game. You want to drink them. You want to turn them into delicious juice. All right, we'll alternate. I'll go first. I will be a dragon today. Added royal gummy. Shake it this way, shake it that way, and stir it all around and it's done. Moderately sweet natural flavor comes bursting forth. The next one, brown gummy for the boy Silas. Added brown gummy. And stir it all around and it's done. Hmm. So we might run back and grab at least a few more. Clear out the bulk of them. And then I'll probably put most of my money away, but keep just a little bit to see if we can still get the swap, swap shop. That's the main reason why I did a quick reset, because I don't know if it'll just throw us immediately into more stuff. I just wanted to make sure. Because I didn't want to go into, like, a dungeon with a half-filled bag. Shakety-shake, shakety-shake. I also like the little shaking animation for him. Making technically. At least these aren't alcoholic. Even if he is kind of treating them like alcoholic with the shaking not stirred. And while we're having <laughs> gummy juice, remember to stay hydrated.
Oh, now I'm finally a non-traitor. Finally, I will not... <laughs> I will not defect from my hidden village. Hidden village, hidden in the Zorua. Hidden in the Zorark main. I will take more gummies, please. Yeah, I'll take at least just most of them. Not all, just in case. Just so that we can continue my tradition of, before going out on missions, going to spend his bar. That's purely it. And yep, uh, we have all the gummies. Put away most of my money. Ba 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 Yeah, we'll keep like a thousand on us, I guess. Hmm. Now nah, we'll, we'll put more in. We'll keep 500 for the swap shop. And if we lose 500, it won't be that bad. <laughs> I'll take your entire stock! This is gonna be hell on poor Spinda's wrists. Doing all this shaking, but not stirring. The Hidden Illusion Village, home to the most mischievous of Zorwas. You find one that, like, wears an orange coat. Date Bayo, or however it's diddly dee. Oh, something. What the hell? There's something written on the bottom of the glass you just drained. Woohoo! It's a secret exploration spot that not only you know about, nobody else! What? <laughs> how, how the hell? You can now go to the lush prairie! What? Well, it got to the bottom of the glass, so obviously somebody else knows about it. It got on the glass! What the hell? Maybe that's my old home! The Zorwa Hidden Village in the Lush Prairie. The t I kind of like that there's so many, like, little random events that happen. That just made me go, wait, what? <laughs> Not even Silas. Not even Silas knows. I've got a good feeling about this one. Went up. Huh? What? IQ increase too. We got a double increase. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna drink this one. It's mine. I'm gonna get drunk on gummy juice. They call it soda, but it might as well be alcoholic. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, in the Japanese version, these were, like, explicitly alcohol. We're gonna distill the, 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 the alcohol out of these gummies. I'm gonna be a dragon again. <laughs> Drink the juice. The game has spoonified me more than dungeons that I know what to do. <laughs> Spoon fed you a bunch of random dungeons are just like, you can go to another dungeon. You know now that more people are going to be like lost here. Ooh, a cute sniffer. Interesting. Huh? What? IQ increase too. But yeah, it's just like all learning about a new place is basically just makes it so more people fall down and be like, oh no, I lost my apple there. Help, I'm stuck here. Please escort me around this place. Oh no, a criminal is hiding there now. <laughs> it's never just like, oh hey, you can go here and find treasure. No, it is you go there because people have been dumb. They tried to parkour in the lush prairie and now they're dying. Ooh, PowerPoint Saver. Why does it feel like my IQ is rising faster than Silas's? 
Silas, you are the one who's been getting the most, like, super effective gummies. I only ever had one. How am I so... Why am I so much smarter than you, Silas? And my signature blue gummy. And now Brain just asked the question, why are the gummies so phallic? Don't ask me. My brain... <laughs> ...does this. I do not control the rate at which Brain c summons curses. Well, now that we got a decent boost to our stats a bit, I guess... We shall save, and we'll quickly check the beach. Well, we already checked the beach. Let me quickly check my... Ba -ba -da -ba. Well, I use a bunch of Geopebbles. Uh, three Reviver Seeds. Oh, in fact, speaking of that... Bah! Three Apples, three Orange Berries, three Reviver Seeds. Uh, some Max Elixirs, a Stun Seed. Yep, I do believe I'm ready. <laughs> Maybe you can find the lost child you left down there. Down on the 40 floor dungeon. That would be amusing. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon MMO, where all of the jobs are concurrent across all players. That might actually be amusing. Now I see everyone's with us. First and foremost, this should go without saying. Grovile appears wherever Time Gears are located. But where are the Time Gears? That is the question, but we have no answer. And therefore, we have relied upon the Great Duck Sknor for ideals. Together, we've identified several locations where the Time Gears may be found. We ask that everyone split into groups and investigate each of these potential sites. First, Loudred and Corfish. I'm assigning you to the Eastern Forest. That's the huge forest far to the east, of course. Got it! Hey, hey, we'll do our best. Next, Bidoof, Dugtrio, and Sunflora. We'd like you to search Crystal Cave. Yep, yep, we'll do. Understood. Oh my gosh, I'll search hard. And finally, Neon and Silas, you two are assigned to the Northern Dis- the, the Northern District. Northern Desert. The Northern Desert? Correct! Upon your- open your water map. Open the map. It's the map. It's the map. We're going to send you to a death trap. Silas opened the wonder map. See, this area. The area on the map is obscured by clouds, but the dry terrain stops in this area here. That's why it's rumored that a vast desert extends from that point forward. That is less far away than Fogbound Lake was. How has nobody been there before? Or is this more of a hazing ritual where you're like, Aha, we're not going to let the explorer recruits know about the wider world. They're going to have to explore it themselves. It's kind of an explorer thing. It's our fetish. We want people to be confused until they find things out for themselves for validation. We suspect that the time gear is hidden in the depths of this desert. That's where we're sending you to investigate. Okay, we understand. Um, what about me? Diglett will remain at the guild. We can't very well leave the guild completely unattended. Krogunk and I are staying behind at the guild too. The work we do at the guild is important too. Let's make sure we keep up our good work. Yes. Now let's find the time gears, everyone. You ta! Hooray! The northern desert is not only wide and deep; it is raked by vicious sandstorms. Please do take care. We'll do. Thank you. Neon, let's do our best. And now we can go check out the Krogunk Swap Shop. <laughs> because although it was a seven-star mission, not worth it. Completely understandable. <laughs> Put my swap into good use, you two. Like for catching Grovile. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got today. Soak scarf, old brooch, snowy torque. Let's see, what's the info? For a bar boach. For Snover, for Duduo, for Aerodactyl. None of these matter to me. 
Although I shudder to imagine what would happen if you were playing like Rescue Team and then like you have the like ancient relic or whatever and somebody's like, please help me, I'm on level 98. Um, have you all happened to see Duck Trio anywhere? The three of us, Bidoof, Duck Trio and I, we're supposed to go to the Crystal Cave. Oh, well, we aren't paying attention. Duck Trio went off somewhere by himself. Where's he gotten to? We'll leave when Duck Trio decides to join us. I'm going to see if he's at the, the ocean. He might have unique dialogue. Oh, Ocean, my child was not able to go on a mission. I am very sad. I am thinking of throwing myself into you, so we might become one. Oh, see, hear us. We must postpone our journey. We must participate in the capture of Grovile. What do you mean, your journey? What is this cult journey that you're talking about? We will. We will capture Grovile without fail. Though it is frightening, we will do our best. We need encouragement. Oh, vast sea. This is how cults start. Because <laughs> when you left your child unattended and they went down 40 floors of a dungeon, you're a bad parent. Welcome to the Pokemon world. Hell exists. It's called the Distortion World. Now I wonder if Pokemon just <laughs> randomly walk into the distortion world like, Oh gee, I need an explorer team to help me out here. And Giratina's just like, What are you doing in my home? To the northern desert. I think it'd be funny if I drew my Chimchar throwing a book about parenting to the parent. And then that could be a running joke. Somebody tries to give you an egg and you're like, Learn about parenting. <laughs> or maybe your partner throws it at you because you got an egg. The northern desert is through here. If a time gear really is here, Groval should show up here for sure. Let's do our best and find that time gear. Oh, this is some nice music. Northern desert. Total... What? What was that? What did that? What? What, what gave that information? Total items on the floor equals one. What? Am I intelligent now? Is that from Item Master? No. Oh, a cute sniffer. When it reaches a new floor, the Pokemon knows the number of items that are lying on the ground. That's so fucking cool! <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Don't you dare poison me. Your IQ, that's what happened. I have become so intelligent. And I also want to see uh, a thing. Yeah, it saved my faint attack. P PowerPoint saver. I love this. I'm so... Okay. I fell asleep on the job. Wigglytuff is going to beat me <laughs> with his perfect apples. Yeah, that's so cool. I like the PowerPoints IQ stuff in this game. I'm I'm just so happy that they like made a sequel to Rescue Team and then so increased the quality of things. It's just so good. I love it so much. It's just so good. Every single time a cool thing happens, I'm just like, <gasps> total items on the floor equals three. Well, that doesn't make much. Oh, is that grimy food? I guess we can keep that. Maybe I can give that to the, the stock exchange. They'll probably won't take it, but I can try. Haven't gotten non-sleeper yet? I don't think so. I just got non-trader. Hey, Larvitar, die! Once again... Sadly, no, not yet. I don't want to... Like, uh... Risk... Pokemon... Eating up my Reviver Seeds. Because... That happens far too much. 
where I bring a, uh, when I recruit a Pokemon, and then they just like are terrible. Eh, you know what? The grimy food. A food item that somewhat fills the belly, but will inflict a variety of status problems because it's covered in filthy grime. I guess I can keep that and eat it before I go up a level. Number is three on this floor. A cute sniffer is so cool. I love it. You fool. You have come into range to die. I love the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. I genuinely cannot wait until... Like, a part of me wants, like, the story to go on a long time for this one. But I also kind of want to... I can't wait to get to, like, Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon to experience those for myself. Just to feel the breadth that is the Mystery Dungeon franchise with Pokemon. Because I know that technically Mystery Dungeon isn't a specifically Pokemon thing. It just... I. <laughs> It's, it's, it's kind of amusing that I always have to be like, technically this is the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, because other Mystery Dungeons exist. Like Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. Hi, Trap Inch Die. It's a box! It's a box. It's a box. <laughs> Neon. I'm the smartest. Floor makes Neon fall asleep. Neon. Why? That's about it. The dungeon has betrayed me. The book about parenting could be a gag, but it might not be funny to other people. And that's just it. You have to draw for you. Because while, yes, it might not be funny for everyone, there might just be enough people out there that do find it amusing. You cannot please everyone. The whole world will not be your audience. But those that will be your audience, they are worth fighting for. So slaughter people and use their blood for rituals. Like Cult of the Lamb has taught you. Hi, Keknia, die. How dare you normal attack me for 12 damage. That's illegal. Uh, only one item on this floor. Hmm. I wonder if I could use that now to, like, more effectively traverse floors. Because now that I know that there that's the only item on the floor, I can just skedaddle. Damn it. Why is it always the sleep traps? Why do they always come for me? But yeah, now that I know how many items are on the floor, if I find all of them, I can just leave. <laughs> yeah, you could be the sweetest peach, but some people don't like peaches. Exactly. All you can do is do your best. Be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. That's all you can strive to do in the world. Hmm. Since we're here in Hell Zone, let's go ahead and get out of here. Ah, we're in this room right here. The item is right here, so we don't have to go anywhere. We can just leave. A cute sniffer is so good. Ooh! Palette swap. <laughs> Speaking of peaches, it's kind of peach red in here. Oh no, not the rhyme, rhyme mom. How dare you throw sand in my eye? Kecnia looks at <laughs> Zorua Neon. Pocket sand! I'm gonna murder your family. You're lucky I'm not a fire type. Or a fire type, this entire desert would be glass. What was that like one Halo 3 quote, I think it was? Your world will burn until its surface is but glass. I don't even know why I'm gathering up the grimy food. Oh no, it's a bastard. It blasted. Ooh, a petrify orb. Oh, you fucker! Motherfucker! We need to run!
And yeah, we'll blast you. Get out of here, Cacturn. Glittery bucks! It's the bucks, it's the bucks! I want the bucks! Die. Level up for the boy! Great, I leveled up! Pocket sand is the best thing in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And then you have its cousin, floor sand, and then, like, wall sand. And there's four items on this floor. Damn it. I missed both my moves. You are hell. Die. We spawned on top of an item. More goddamn grimy food! And that's the majority of the items, and since it's bad weather, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, like like Team Skull, Bastard Man. <laughs> Don't forget Soft Sand and Star Sand. Oh yeah, and uh, that the, the Black Sand. Oh, we need to eat. We're dying here. Om nom nom. I forgot to read how many items were on this floor. Quick, uh, to the other tab. Message log. Uh, only one item. Die. Die, rock boy. But what did I do? You don't play metal. I do find it funny that I kind of out the damage of the sandstorm. Money! I'm gonna be rich! So I can murder God! Would cocaine be classified as a type of sand? What's the difference between sand and powder? Two items on this floor. I am so glad that I got a cute sniffer. It's such a cute... It's just a bit great. <laughs> I just imagine, like, we... Like, the first time we go to a new dungeon after that happens, we just step into the dungeon and I'm like, there's five items on this floor, and Silas just looks at me like, what? There's five items on this floor. What are you talking about? We just got here. I can smell them. You can smell money? <laughs> but then, like, later on in the dungeon. He's like, okay, how many more items are there again? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I can't smell them anymore. Your, your new power doesn't make sense. <laughs> All right, this is just the, the, the gruesome pack. Hello. Die. Oh. Oh no, not roll out. That'll never hit anything. At least these guys have my luck with multi-hit moves. Get blasted, idiot. Honestly, the more I think about the parenting book, the funnier it gets to me. Then pursue it! Raise that parenting book guide gag like your very own child. I forgot to read how many items there were on this floor, so I think I'm just gonna leave. I should have eaten the grimy food before I went up. Four items on this floor. There's four on the floor. Get leered at, Rockman. Go back and fight Dr. Wywe. Sorry, Carnivine, this world is dangerous. So I'm going to send you back out into this dangerous world without help. I do like the music here. Kind of reminds me of Tales of Symphonia. Money! Agron, die. Yeah, bastard. He hit my he hit my boy with me. Now I'm just imagining, like, Zoro and Neon being roared into Silas. And it's just like, well, handsome, you come around here often? He's like, quit joking, we're in the middle of a fight. <laughs> and 
man. But let's see what happens when we grimy food this. Well, the, par the paralysis wasn't that bad. <laughs> One item on the floor. Of all status effects... Then again, if you did eat something and immediately became paralyzed from eating it, that would actually be a pretty horrifying experience. <laughs> but because this is the Pokemon world, that's just like, yeah, that happens sometimes. Silas just watching in absolute horror as Zoro and Neon lifts the grimy boot to their ma and becomes paralyzed. It's just like, why are you like this? Waste not, want not. Well, that's actually a kind of trippy effect, almost. Is this the deepest part of the desert? Well, obviously no, because sand. Watch out, it's quicksand! The sand's getting sucked down here and there. They're like sand whirlpools, and we'll be pulled in if we get close. It's dangerous here. I don't see anything around here that remotely looks like a time gear. Maybe there's nothing here. Oh, what's the matter, Neon? This feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I... I know this place. Maybe I have only heard of this place, but it seems like I've been here before. I can't tell which. By the way, I do know this place. Listen, Neon. What's the matter? You were off in your own thoughts there. Well, there seems to be nothing here. How disappointing. Let's report our findings to the guild. Let's go home. He's pushing me away. And I suppose we can't exactly just test out the quicksand. That would mean death. What? So everyone's back from their searches, but nobody found anything? Disappointing. That's what happened, all right. Hey, hey, we went out to the eastern forest just like we were told. But hey, there's nothing really out there but the forest. And as for Crystal Cave... Yep, yep, it was chock full of crystals. Mighty pretty cave, I tell you. It was so pretty that I just couldn't help helping myself to a crystal. Ooh, when did you pick did, when did you pick that up? I was with you the whole time. I never noticed. Vidoof. Our objective was to find the time gear. We all failed to achieve our objective, but you had the nerve to correct a souvenir totally unrelated to the mission. Who do you think you are? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I just wanted a tiny treasure for myself, that's all. Dusk Noir, sir, I regret to say it. Our search efforts ended fruitlessly. Ah, this is vexing. I thought the search locations we chose held promise. I blame my lack of knowledge. I am truly chastened. My goodness, no! You mustn't blame yourself. Why, it was thanks to only to your vast knowledge that we came up with our plan, Dusk Noir. Nonetheless, our efforts have ended in failure. That is a fact. But being hard on ourselves is pointless. Let us reconsider our plan. We'll devise a different strategy tomorrow. Yes, let's do that. And may we find success together. That's how it stands, everyone. That's enough work for today. Rest up, prepare for tomorrow. Understood. Om nom nom. And Dusk Noir, being a ghost, has decided not to eat with us. He doesn't need to eat. We should get some sleep, too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Neon. Okay, good night. The next morning. Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. This game is lots of fun. <laughs> and that brings us back to today. Presently, the great Dust Noir and I are working out a new strategy. While we develop this strategy, we ask you to search for the time gears on your own initiative. That is all. All right, everyone. Work hard again today. Hooray! Also, I find it kind of amusing that, like... For the expedition, it took us, like, multiple days, it felt like, to cross all that way. But now we can go there and back in a single day if we want to go to, like, Fogbound Lake. We're supposed to search on our own today, Neon. Where should we go? I wonder. 
We can search all we want, but we don't have a clue. Oh, wait a second. Yesterday when we were out there, this feeling, it's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I, I know this place. And now we are, we're only going to tell you now, Shane. Uh, not Shane, Siles. I keep doing that. Shane has just been my main partner for five billion years. Yes, that's right. Yesterday at the quicksand pits, we assumed that it was the dead end for our search. But maybe there really are secrets there. What's the matter? Are you off in another daydream? Yep, yep. What? You want to go back to quicksand desert? But we were there yesterday. We didn't find anything. Yep, yep. What? When we were at Quicksand Desert, you experienced the same sensation that you had at Fogbound Lake? And you didn't tell me while we were there? Well, then that's settled. What, we mu what you must say must be true. Let's go there again, back to Quicksand Desert. I'm sorry, but I'm certain that we'll devise our plan soon. Until then, please conduct searches on your own. That's all I can ask of you now. What you gotta say, boy? <laughs> Welcome. Valiant Rock. Wait, Valiant Rock, Valiant Rock, Valiant Rock. Oh, <laughs> oh but I don't think it's good for me. I think I need multiple, like, diddly Ds to get it, right? Nope, just any exclusive items for Valiant Rock. So which exclusive items are you up? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. So you want to swap these three? Yes. What? Whoa. <laughs> Seems to me your swap without, without a hitch. Those exclusive items you swapped got you this Valiant Rock. I'd say it's pretty rare. Treat it with care. <laughs> sure, is there anything else here? There's Patchy Tooth, which is Pachirisu, Ember Jewel, Magby, Minon... Magmar and Grimer. But we got another thing for Silas, even if that still means that I don't have anything. Slightly boost defense and special defense for the boy. I'm interested in a treasure called Mystery Part. It's a legendary item that's veiled in mystery. Well, don't find it intriguing, but my partner Murkrow, she's like, I'd have no interest in a drab and dingy thing like that. Oh, what am I going to do with her? I keep an eye out for sparkly things. What I find most intriguing right now is the golden mask. Imagine its glittery gleam. But my partner, Shuppet, isn't keen on the idea at all. She refuses her silly reasons like ice. It sounds so garish and tacky. Ah, it's just so frustrating. Murder, murder, murder. Take me. This isn't an... Well, you are asking for an escort service, but it's not that kind of escort service. Stealing time gears. That's about as wrong as you can get. A bad Pokemon like Grovile can't be allowed to roam free. The capture of Grovile. We're here to help. That Grovile. I'll rough him up with my claws. In an actual Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world... Not bound by the ESRB and Nintendo. I wonder how many, like, Pokemon would be like, Oh no, I have been trapped here in this mystery dungeon. I hope some strapping, strong explorers don't come help me. Oh. I don't think I need to take money out to check anything. Whoever's stealing the time gears is pretty brazen. Catch the thief and show him what a big mistake he made! I've heard. Your whole guild is trying to capture Grovile. I hope you succeed. What are you gonna say? I hope the Time Gear thief gets away with it. My thoughts go with you. Please catch that dreadful Grovile. Please bring him to Treasure Town so we can watch him be executed live. They say if you take a Time Gear away, the time stops where that Time Gear was. Time stopping. Might not make any difference to us. We're not moving either. Why, does, uh, why do his eyes look like Pokeballs? We want to help too. If we hear anything about Grovile, we'll let you know. Grovile, huh? Can't say I've heard of him, to be honest. Yo, I heard! You're on the hunt for a Pokemon named Grovile! 
I can't figure it out, though. What would make that Grovile steal time gears? Uh, no idea. Appraise all my shit. Let the appraisal begin. Quick, quick, quah! Quah! -ha! And so it is revealed within the boxes were a Meryl Do, a jiggly song. How is a song jiggly? That makes no sense. Ding, no, ding. <gasps> it is what I think it is. It is, it is, yes, it is. Oh! I'm gonna have a special diddly day today. I guess we'll keep this extra apple with us. Civic. Store all this. Hell yeah. And I'd like to take... Let's see. Uh, uh, some gummies. Just a few gummies with us so that we can clear out our inventory a bit and just go on another drinking spree at Spindos. The music of these games are just so good. Love it. I like to store all my money. So I'll be rich in the future. Ding, 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 ding. The hell are you? The Magnemite. I just walked past him and was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Black gummy time for me. You think something that's colored black wouldn't be appetizing, but I am a dark type. Ooh, black gummy tea. Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. Bursting forth. A silver gummy for the boy. And remember, when you're going after a criminal, drink lots of tea. Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. More. More gummy elixirs. We must become very smart so that we can know where Grovile is before he even knows where he is. Or lest he become like that rocket that, like, knows where it is because it knows where it isn't. Yay. Here, we'll treat Silas like an emperor. Have a gold gummy. Because there were psychopathic rich people in the past. They're like, we're going to put a bit of gold in our food because we're fucking rich. People are insane. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad I'm a Pokemon here, I say. Knowing that I was once a human and in the real world am a human. <laughs> More! More! It was like that. Star Wars meme. And that'll be all, Spinda. Ding 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 Well, we're back. But it still seems like there's nothing here. Just this white sand stretching out in front of us. And quicksand pits, obviously. Is there something more here? What kinds of secret are hidden here? It's very faint, but I can still feel it. This place, I know it somehow. But looking over this, I have to admit Silas is right. There's really nothing here but the desert and the quicksand pits. And aside from those pits, there's nothing. Wait! Wait a second! If there's only quicksand, that's the key to this mystery! There's no way forward. Or is there? 
What are we? Pokemon Vsauce? Pokey Vsauce here. Where are your fingers? I am a Magnemite. But where are they? What do you think? Where should we look, Neon? We should drown in the sand. What? What did you say? You want us to jump into the quicksand? But, Neon, this isn't like that waterfall. What if we die? Are you serious? Are you seriously suggesting that we should jump in? Funnily enough, if this was a more grounded game, your partner would be like, Are you insane? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. And then your insane character would drag them into the quicksand. And there would be, like, trust issues, because, like, Yeah, I know you're right, there's stuff below here now, but we didn't know that then. You could have gotten us killed. Okay. I trust you, Neon. I have faith in you. It's all thanks to you that I've come so far, Neon. During our first exploration. Okay. I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fail to leave through at full speed, I'll be smushed no matter what I do. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. Be brave. Be the bravest ever! I put my faith in you that time too, Neon. I was able to come, I was able to go on and then because you helped me be courageous. My feelings haven't changed since then. So let's go for it. Let's jump into that quicksand pit, Neon. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! Wah! And then they died. Oh, my backside. Then again, if there is this much quicksand, the quicksand has to be going somewhere. Because there is, like, normal quicksand that's more like, oh, if you move around, you, like, get dragged down. But stuff that's, like, obviously a whirlpool of sand, well, I guess it could just be still lead to your death. But, you know, fantasy. Where are we? Is this a cave? We fell through from up there. You were right, Neon. You were right. The secret swirled within the quicksand. Let's move it. It's time to go exploring, Neon. Let's l our, let our time gear search begin. This is some funky music. Items on this floor, too. That's some funky beat. Yeah, there's only one other item, and... How dare you use my move against me! Die! I grew to level 28. Huzzah. I am a god. Anytime I hear someone say juice again, I'll put... <laughs> Drink the juice! My favorite line in Paper Mario is... Uh, we... We would to more to imprison you, but we can't do much about increasing the age rating of our game. I love little meta jokes like that. Oh no, not roll out. You bitch. You motherfucker. Stop. Why'd you get lucky like that, you bitch? How come when I use roll out, game mean? You use roll out, you mean. Why can't I be mean with rollout? We must annihilate this guy. He has rollout and must die. One item on this floor. We already found it. Aha! The drought orb. It is in the desert. Uh, at least it makes sense. Also, I can't believe that I didn't make the joke that Silas is already Naruto running back in the jokes about my hidden village. How dare you screech at me? You must now die! Be gone, little bug man. Uh, you give a lot of experience for dying. <laughs> Two words, practice hitter. Very useful. <gasps> it's a box! And let's see, I was uh, so caught up by box, I missed the message. Four items on this floor. And we've only found one. 
never mind. We found them all. They all belong to me. My. My items. They're mine. I'm sure I also found grimy food, but oh well. Come here to die. This music is so nice. Again, props to the composers of this game. Die. Die. I am the one who kills, not you. Come back when you're a big scorpion. And we'll move on since there's only one other item here, so let's move on. Two items on this floor. One item on this floor. Murder him. Why are you so tanky? Be gone. Oh, too, too bad. Why do all the Pokemon want to join my team when we're on a mission? Great, I leveled up. Your leveling skills are beyond comprehension. Soon we shall ascend God himself. Be gone. Of course, we just run into our runabout. How dare you. We'll check out one more room. Nope, no item. Let's move on. Don't want to waste too many apples. You can glare all you want, but we're leaving. Two items on this floor, and one's already here. Mine! We'll do a bit of scouting for potential more items. But not too much. Die. Let us move along then. Murder. Die. How dare you lower my defense when I'm murdering you. It's very rude. A cute sniffer is just such a nice ability to have. Four items on this floor. Lots more exploration is in store for me. Son of a bitch, no! You are not taking away my shit. These are very special. This is Silas's, and this is mine. I get the pretty bow. How dare you attack me? Now you must die for your crimes. Yeah, I think that's enough. Let's move on. I swear, if there was like a secondary, like, trap that just destroyed my bow, I would have been devastated. I would have potentially reset. Because I'm not losing my beloved bow. And again, the music is just so good. How dare you attack me? My attack is better than your attack, even though it is the same attack that proves that I am better. I should have eaten the diddly ding. Fun fact, Vibrava isn't actually a bug type. What? <laughs> what? Why would they do that? At least sometimes when they do stuff like that, it's like at least plausible deniability, like a bu -bu -bu like a Dr Charizard not being a dragon type. But like, why would the obviously looks like a bug Pokemon not be a bug type? Why would you do that? Like, what monstrosity would you be to do that? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? What kind of designer would look at this Pokemon and go, We're not going to make it a bug type. Halfway point. Save my adventure. 
still miss the ability to access items at Kangaskhan statues. At least I think that was a thing you could do. The quicksand pit. Five items. And three are here. Mine! Mine! Every single time I say mine now, my mind immediately jumps to the Lythera streams where ZSX underscore <laughs> says mine every single time somebody is use, uses uh, beautiful Joe's zoning tool. This is some nice, chill music. Love it. All right, like all of the items are here. This is the second time. Five, I five items are on this floor. And three of them are in the room you spawn. You motherfucker. Why are those trip traps? Why do you even exist? You whore. Defense bow for the boy. He deserves better than this. Oh, hey, Mawile. I like Mawile. Mawile's a nice Pokemon. Still gotta kill ya. Now we continue on. Four items on this floor. Hello, Mawile. Die. That's a very bad... Ah, oh, they want to join, though. Sorry, but we might end up in a boss fight because it's a story mission. What the... All right, sudden weather effect. Aha, you missed me, you fool. Level up for me. And now we're over 100 in health. Crunch. Info. Inflicts damage on the target. It may also reduce the target's defense. Hit ratio is high. Power is 1, 2, 3, 6. Hmm. But it's a 13. And Leer and Scratch have similar, like, power points, so they're good for putting together. I guess I could maybe... Hmm. <laughs> By Brava, not a bug type. It's just so baffling. But... It's just that it's a 13 power point. Which... But... Info. It has two more power over Scratch, though. But Scratch has more uses, and I'm tying it. I can't justify getting rid of Scratch. If Crunch had at least 20 power points, I could justify it. But can't really justify. Of course, it's a dead end. Because as powerful as it is, I can only use it like half the amount of times that I can Scratch. And Scratch is just a decent move overall to have. Especially when tied to Leer. It allows me to actually, you know, do things. How dare you, little scorpion man. You must die for your sins. Funnily enough, I'm also reading a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic that has a... Like, the Vibrava line, I think it is. Because it's like, Trap Hinch, Vibrava... And then... Bug-looking guy again. But I forget his name. He's one of the main characters. Oh, wait, there's another item in there. I am but a fool. Money. Tell me, why did you become an explorer, Shift Tree? Money! Oh, 
How dare you use fury swipes on me? That is illegal in seven centuries. Yes, not countries, centuries. Don't you feel like fool? <laughs> Flygon Neon, Flygon. I'm bad with names. I, I kind of know things, but names slip my mind a lot of the time. It's the small details. You know, don't sweat the small details. Even Pokemon that I should know the name of. Sometimes my memory just conks out. You need to die. Oh, hey. Die. I can hit you. It's like, oh, but I can evade. I have instant hit. Die. <laughs> like... Uh, the final evolution of Bayleaf and Chikorita. Oh, son of a bloody motherfucker. Die. They gotta be murdered to death. At least I get decent experience from killing you. Of course you missed. Level up for the boy! Ooh, we can learn a new move. What's the move gonna be? Copycat. Causes the user to unleash the same move as the same uh, as the last one used by facing the enemy. Some moves can't be copied. If the some moves can't be copied, I don't fucking care then. I'm not gonna risk it. I can't even control what Silas does. I'm not going to have him randomly like use copycat on a Pokemon that might not even be using a move that can be copycatted. Meganium, that's the final evolution. My brain is evil and keeps going, oh, magnesium. Because my brain is at the of damage. Please die. Hello, hippo. Be gone to hell. And six items on this floor. Two were money. Now imagining Silas copying Roar of Time. And then the, Zoro and Neon is just like, But Silas, I'm the one with the dimensional scream. He's like, yours is dimensions. Mine is... Shouldn't it be like the... I, I guess there really isn't a... Like, term for... Oh, wait, no. Temporal scream. It could be a temporal scream. Since we're screaming across time for information. It's not... We're not screaming across dimensions to get the info. So it, it feels kind of weird that it's called a dimensional scream. Come to think of it. Maybe it has something to do with Palkia. You bitch. You could probably ask me a lot of Pokemon questions out of ten. Probably nine are correct. I don't think I have any questions off the top of my head. None that actually come to mind. Grimy food, because... Meh. Because usually questions only come to mind, like, immediately at random. Nothing gets really stored. Money. Kill him. I'm trying to think. Quit screeching at me, you giant dinosaur. Go back to Godzilla minus zero. Become black and white. I miss the black and white series from Lionhead Studios. But then Lionhead Studios died. Plus, it was kind of headed by Peter Molyneux. And he's like, not the best at keeping his promises, but still. They were fun games. Oh, hey, two items down here. Die. Motherfucker! No! My, my fucking money! Damn it. And we got together again right quick. Too sweet. You little bitch.
I need to eat an orange berry or else I'm gonna fucking die. Yum yum. Palkia is more base with space and no, I don't mean out of space. Yep, it's like three dimensions. Space as in the world around us. Space and time. And then hell. And then there's Arceus, the thousand-armed Pokemon that has no arms. Unless you uh, ascribe to the fan theory that the arms refer to different Arceuses across the time and space. If we get into a boss fight, I'll eat a max elixir. Hmm. Actually, we have a lot of max elixirs. I should use them liberally. Apply liberally. There's only one motherfucking thing! And this is the exit, too. So we're kind of fucked. Luckily, I just did this. You fucking bastard. I don't think oh, actually getting into the corridor would have been the smart thing. I wanted, like, Silas to be able to fight back, too. That was my theory. But now I'm kind of screwed, aren't I? I should probably get rid of these guys because they're doing multi-hit moves. Munch munch for Silas. Why you keep mercing? God damn it. I hate that you keep missing Silas, goddammit. Silas, you can use your moves. I unrestricted them. Endurance shit, goddamn. And then I died. Damn it. Why do you keep missing? I hate this. I'm not a very smart tactical person. At least there was the midpoint, I think. Or was that a different time? I'm losing my mind. Why do you keep missing? I hate this game sometimes. And we only have one Reviver Seed left. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, back to Arceus. How do you get the Pokedex entry for Arceus? It does state that there are possibly 1,000 Arceuses, and one you got is possibly one of its arms. I don't think that will help us. Oh wait, Faux Fear Orb. Makes enemies terrified. How does it work? An item that afflicts all enemies in the room with terrified status conditions. Use! Now let's just get the fuck out of here. And of course, please don't get us into a boss fight. Then again, if we get into a boss fight now, it's probably going to be easier than that monster house. Th this is... 
Fantastic! I didn't expect to see this. This huge lake sprawling underground. Look, something's glowing way over there! That light. I'm sure I've seen it before. That's it, I've got it now! It's the same kind of light that we saw in Fogbound Lake! That means that light could be coming from a time gear. We need to get a closer look at it, Neon. Why, it went dark! Wait, what? Who are you? Wh who said that? Why? Why did you come here? Why? We just came to look for a time gear. Stay away from the time gear! If you won't leave the time gear alone, I'll stop you! Completely wrong voice for you. Specifically for Pokemon Legend Arceus. That's cool. Who, who are you? I'm Mesprit. Here at the deep underground lake, I protect the time gear. Protect the time gear? I won't allow you to disturb the time gear. Get ready! We don't want to fight, you idiot. We came here specifically to avoid this. Uh, do we have any, like, stun? Did I... I we do have a stun seed. Alright, idiot. Get stun seeded, bitch. Well, that wore out quickly. Luckily, I'm super effective against you, but now you're dead. You are not a very good guardian. Ah, uh, uh, but I can't let you take the time gear. Will you please listen? We didn't come here to steal your time gear, really. Don't lie to me. Yuxi used his telepathy to tell me what happened. I know that the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. What, you heard it from Yuxi? That was your doing, wasn't it? No, we didn't do it. Then who is responsible? That would probably be me. Good job, Mesprit, you, 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 you idiot. The legendary Pokemon that gave humanity emotions. My eyes must be failing me because as I was glancing at chat, like, I was swaying in my chair a little bit, you know, as you do. A little bit of stimming. And, like, the movement kind of blurred the letters together. And it almost looked like the legendary Pokemon that gave humanity erections. My eyes need to be fixed. Who are you? G Grovile! That's Grovile! I must apologize. But I will be taking that time gear. Wah! Stand aside. I won't. I won't let you take the time gear. I have no choice then. Ah! Misprit! You lost that fight. You sustained some serious damage. So don't push it. You're not getting by us! We won't let you take the time gear! Alright. Sorry for this. Ah, he's so fast! Forgive me. I have no quarrel with any of you. But I'm taking that time gear. Uh, the time gear! That thief is taking it! I, I'm sorry. Yuxi must not have been talking about you. It was that Pokemon. I'm sorry for doubting you. Masprit, you fool! You've doomed us all! Oh, this is bad! We have to get out of here! Why? Oh, probably bad. What's happening? It's happening because the thief took the time gear. So time in this whole area. Time will stop all around the underground lake. What? If we don't hurry, we'll be trapped in time. Hurry! Run with all your might! I don't think we could outrun time freezing. Congratulations, you now know this frozen hell. The clouds lifted over the quicksand cave and the vicinity of the arid area. Sure, let's save. Hell happened. The world is dying. Chapter 12. The Only Option. Thank you for helping with our criminal investigation. We have Mesprit under protection. Her safety is assured. 
We are dedicated all resources to the pursuit of Grovile. If you come across any information related to this case, please let us know. We must all cooperate to bring this criminal to justice. This is all. Now please excuse us. If the other one knew it was Grovile, why wouldn't the other one say something? It's possible that maybe Yuxi took so much damage that all they could do was... It depends. It is kind of a plot hole because if Yuxi could give the description of Grovile to the police squad, why wouldn't they do it for Mesprit? So who knows? My, my! I'm absolutely astonished! So there was a lake deep under the northern desert? And that wasn't all a time gear was also down there? Yes, but about that time gear, Grovile stole it. And we failed to even slow down Grovile. In the end, that's all this. That's the same as doing nothing at all. That's not true, by golly. You all did great work. Hey, hey! I think so too! Team Lost Light can be really proud! But it's a shame about this whole thing. There's no clue telling us what we should do next, right? Hey, hey! If we had only one tiny hint! I must agree. Where will Grovile strike next? We have no way of knowing. It's too bad that the opportunity to catch you slipped away. We're back to square one. Maybe not. Not necessarily. Dusk Nossa! There are some clues. One time gear was Fogbound Lake, guarded by Yuxi, correct? Another time gear was at the Underground Lake, guarded by Mesprit. Oh, that reminds me. Mesprit told us something interesting. Mesprit knew that the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Yuxi alerted her by telepathy. Incredible! Now that is something! I should have known. There is an ancient legend. It is believed that Yuxi is the being of knowledge, and that Mesprit is the being of emotion. But three Pokémon in total represent the spiritual world, and are said to keep the world in balance. Th three? So besides Yuxi and Mesprit, there's another Pokémon like them? Azelf. Yes. The last of the trio is Azelf, known as the being of willpower. Yuxi and Mesprit both guarded time gears. Therefore, Azelf may likewise be protecting a time gear. Oh, I see. If we could locate Azelf, we may find a time gear with the Pokémon. And we may have a chance at seeing that thief Grovile appear. That's correct. Those three Pokémon, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azel, all three are said to dwell at lakes. It's a fact that both Yuxi and Mesprit were encountered at lakes. As such, I believe that Azelf will be found at a lake somewhere. Let's keep something th in mind. Yuxi's lake was located on a high plateau. Mesprit's lake was hidden far beneath a desert. In both cases, the lakes were in unusual places. So the lake where Azelf lives, it will sp be somewhere that we least expect it to be. I get it now! You're saying we shouldn't look for water in the usual places! My, my, my! I commend you on your wisdom, Dusk Noir, sir. I feel renewed admiration for you. Thank you. It's really nothing. No, no, we too revere you. First it was you, Dusk Noir, sir, who directed us to the northern desert. It turned out that there was a time gear far below the desert. So, Dusk Noir, sir, your insight was entirely correct. Oh, so maybe the other places we searched, the eastern forest and crystal cave, those places could still be hiding their secrets from us. Ah, I have an idea. Bidoof. Yep, yep, you want me? This is totally the wrong voice. What can I do for you? I have a request. That crystal you picked up previously. May I borrow it briefly? My crystal? No, no siree. That's my precious treasure, by golly. Of course, but rest assured, we won't take it away or do anything of the sort. Now, Neon, there's something I would like you to do, Neon. Please touch Bidoof's crystal. I should touch the, crest the crystal? If a secret remains hidden in Crystal Cave, if Neon touches the crystal, it may trigger the dimensional scream. It may trigger a vision. I see. That's what this is about. Dimensional scream? What's that? It's a special ability that Neon has. Sometimes when Neon touches something, then Neon has a vision of an event in the past or future that involves it. 
Oh my gosh, really? Hey, 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 that's really an ability like that? I desperately wish to borrow the crystal because of Neon's ability. Please, may we? <laughs> Poor guy. Oof. Okay, I can't refuse a reason like that. <laughs> Damn it, Dustin, I was going to say it. <laughs> Thus Noir, a very intelligent person. He even outspeeds the real world with information. Bidoof turned the crystal over to Neon. This crystal, what will it reveal? Nothing. Everyone's watching. I don't know if I'll see anything, but I need to concentrate. Well, Neon? Ah, there we go. Here it comes. The dizziness is starting. Uh, uh. Now I'll take it. The time gear. No. You can't take it. Never. That was... Groval was trying to steal a time gear. It was also another Pokemon. Was it Azelf? Anyway, the crystal did trigger a vision. Did you see anything, Neon? Neon described the vision revealed by the dimensional screen. What? You saw Grovile knock out a Pokemon! One that you'd never seen before? And then he tried to steal a time gear? Oh my gosh, your ability is thrilling! How did you get all to see all that, by golly? It's mighty hard for me to grasp. Hey, hey, Neon! So that Pokemon you couldn't recognize, do you think it might be Azelf? I, I have a question for Neon, too. Did you see the past, Neon? Or was it the future? Come to think of it, visions in the past, visions in the future, it's never clear when my visions take place. So you're not sure if it's in the past or the future? Well, well, since it's impossible to tell if the vision is in the future or the past, then Neon's vision may well be a past event. In that case, the time gear may have already been stolen from there. Squawk! You're saying we may already be too late? Everyone, please calm down. Yes, it is true that it may be a vision of the past, but it could have been a vision of the future. If you would be so kind, could you remind us what Mesprit said, Silas? Who informed Mesprit via telepathy that a time gear was stolen? If I recall correctly, did you say that it was Yuxi? Hmm. <laughs> and then we get the flashback. Dang, Internet, the stream froze on my end. And I don't think it was my end. Nope. No dropped frames. Don the internet. Destroying entertainment. Don't lie to me. Yuxi used his telepathy to tell me what happened. I know that the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Yes, there's no mistake. But the name Azelf. I've never heard it before. The name Azelf is new to me. I only heard it today from you, Dusknor, sir. Then there's still a chance. If Mesprit claimed that Azelf had alerted her about the stolen time gear, then Neon's dimensional scream would surely be from the past. But that was not the case. Mesprit did not mention Azelf. Therefore, it's possible that the event happens in the future. I see. One more point, and this is a sure thing. Upon touching the crystal, Neon experienced the dimensional scream. The vision indicated the presence of a time gear, which means maybe what we seek is in Crystal Cave. Perhaps there is a passage there that leads to a time gear. Yeah, maybe it is there. Of course, we may already be too late. Or we may still have time. As long as a chance remains, we must never give up. It's our only option. Hey, hey, absolutely. There's no other choice. We have to pin our hopes on this. Good thinking, Dusk Noir, sir. Yep, yep. Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement. Let's go, everyone! Let's search Crystal Cave! Dust Noir, sir! There's only one thing to do, and that's explore Crystal Cave! Let's go! The whole guild will be involved! Onward to Crystal Cave! Guildmaster, please issue the call to duty! Guildmaster? Hmm? Guildmaster? He's dead. Guildmaster! Are you with us? 
<laughs> you gotta be kidding! No, it looks like... He's fully asleep with his eyes wide open to you. Keep the guildmaster is so very charming. <laughs> when do all you suppose he took the snoozing? You think that maybe he's been asleep from the get-go? Oh no, this just won't do. Everyone might notice that the guildmaster is sleeping. I must rouse him somehow. Guildmaster! Guildmaster! Huh? Guildmaster! Chat out. Yes, Guildmaster! Uh, I mean, yes, Guildmaster. Uh, to take it from the top, there was... Everyone, we're going after Grovile. Oop-ta! Hooray! <laughs> Let's go to Crystal Cave. Hey, <laughs> there has to be a secret there somewhere. Let's get down to business and start our search. I will accompany you to Crystal Cave. Let's do our best, everyone. Hooray! I think, I think Shadot is frozen. Let's get going too, Neon. On to Crystal Cave. <laughs> He's just horrified by the universe. Uh, you go on, do your good work. What things do you have in the swap shop? Swap shop. Another Rialu tail. I do believe that we'll want to grab this so that we can... Uh, yeah, actually, we need this. Because we want to be able to swap out... But I don't know, actually. One thing. I need to check the view list for Silas. Because I think... Let's see. Valiant Rock. Huh. Swap a Rialu Tail and a Rialu Card. Hmm. It's possible that... I might need like that for like later things. Oh, dang, I don't want to view more. I want to actually go back to the swapping. But Vibra Scarf is like, yeah, for Vibrava. Well, wait, one thing. I want to make sure that I'm selecting the right thing. I want to grab an extra Rialu tail. So we're going to trade these two in. Because I do believe that, like, maybe... I, I just want to be safe. But when will I get a, 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 an item? I want super item. So everyone is saying that Grovile's appeared again. I'm sorry. We've been trying to gather news about Grovile, but we've had no success finding useful information. But we'll promise we'll keep at it. I've heard even the great Dustnor himself is tracking Grovile. But so far, the thief has eluded them all. He must be good. Another time gear's been stolen. The guild's crew seems to run itself ragged these days. There's no way we can ignore what Grovile is up to. Chancy T Daycare will look after an egg for you. Yep, we already know that. For sure, happy, happy, tee hee. An egg is sort of happy. <laughs> Before I could do something that would be useful, I'm so sorry I can only offer my support. Good luck. And your support is very valued. Hey, you. Oh, Neon and Silas, we're counting on you. Good luck. Yay, good luck, Neon and Silas. We found a mysterious treasure box in a dungeon. We visited Treasure Town so we could ha have the box appraised by Zatu's shop. The treasure might be seriously sparkly. My heart tells me so. There's no mistake. Hello, I would like you to appraise all my shit. And so it is revealed that in the boxes is a jinx song, a swamp mud. What's so special about mud from a swamp? Yo, this time you're off to explore Crystal Cave, huh? That sounds rough. But you do the best you can. Of course we will. Let's -a go, as Mario says, indeed. Yeah, 
Anything here? Nope. And we definitely need to <laughs> rearrange our inventories and stuff because that that, that monster house uh, utterly fucking annihilated me. Ho oh, oh. ho! 5533, 55 and a million dead. Do do We need more reviver seeds and orange berries. We need to grab more, maybe a few gummies for spin the shop. Da da. Beep bop beep bop boop boop. Dee da da dee da da dee. Ba 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 ba. I'll take all of these. Thank you very much, Mama Kangaskhan. He meant Swampert Mud, the final evolved form of Mudkip. It just, uh, abbreviated like that, just makes it seem amusing. Swamp Mud! It's special mud from a swamp. Hello there. <laughs> I found a so-called secret room earlier. Huh, where was it? <laughs> like I'm going to tell you. Totally Lady Weavile's, like, younger brother. A blue gummy for me. Yum yum yum. Give me delicious alcohol before I go save the world, maybe. In fact, that actually makes me think that, like, compared to, uh, ba ba ba, rescue team, it does feel like we've been a normal like exploration team longer. Like we haven't done anything super crazy. It feels like. We've just done, like, semi-normal things. Sure. Oh, dang it. I would like to drink it. Yum, yum. Devour the brown gummy. With all the spinadimmy. Bum, 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 bum. We don't want information. We want to drunk. We're gonna get crunk on the gummy. Shake it this way, shake it that. Murder God. Whoa, this is, this is, this drink is so wonderful, so amazing that I couldn't have made it if I tried. It's so incredible that it is a miracle. Drank the miracle drink. Unbelievable! Never before has a heavenly, super special, incredible miracle combination flavor like this been experienced! Right here, right now, Silas is enjoying a flavor that is out of this world! Went up. Wonderful. Oh, max HP! You ever just have like a food gasm so hard that you fucking become sturdy? Happy news, why not? has made a new discovery. This time treasure was discovered, so we're offering higher grade of recycled items. Huzzah. I am here to recycle a ton of things, maybe. We can get reviver things by trading in uh, escape orbs. But then we could trade in, oh, but you need big apples to get escape orbs, but still neat. Excuse me, what did you put in that drink? Just a normal gummy. And then it's just like, you have now found the power of God. I can trade in grimy food for a silver ticket. Uh, blue. And then we'll do yellow red. Is it a win or is it not? It is not a win. Consolation prize. That's what I get. I got an orange berry. It's not bad at all. I need to get rid of a bunch of things. Let's see. First things first. I should definitely find the plain seeds. 
lot of things. I'm not gonna use many warp seeds. I guess a few of you. The music in here is kind of nice. Uh, redeem now. I'll do a yellow. Is it a win or is it not? Damn it, it's a loss. We'll do one more. Another Orenberry. Not bad at all. Another recycle for a silver ticket. Let's see. Definitely the grimy food. Cherry berry. An Orin berry. And a Pekka berry, why not? I will. And we'll do red. See if we win. Nope, three losses in a row. I guess it counterbalances. I got like a bunch of losses, or a bunch of wins in a row before, so it doesn't really hurt that bad. So it's RNG? Great. Spindus Cafe. All oops, all RNG. If it was an orange gummy with uh, Silas, he would have sinned. <laughs> I'd like to store this money I got. Build that interest for me. That'd be funny if it actually worked like that. And we're gonna put, like, the extra things we got from the recycle shop in. Alright, store. Store, 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 store. Diddly, 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 diddly. Oh, and get rid of those too. I almost forgot. Thank you very much, Mama Kangaskhan. And I figured, we're on such a roll, why don't we go to Crystal Cave to hunt down that dead dirty Grovile? And that'll be our final dungeon run of the night. Hey, hey! I'm gonna go to the Crystal Cave. Boom, boop, boom, ba -doop, boom, ba -doop. So this is Crystal Cave. Somewhere inside this cave, there should be a passageway that leads to Azulf's Lake. But it'll take us forever if we search every step of the way. For starters, let's get as deep as we can. Let's do our best, Neon! There are four items on this floor. Very impressive of Silas to practically catch up to my health lead just through gummy power. We are not dragging you through an entire dungeon. Hmm. I could have sworn that I've heard this music before. It's entirely possible that it's recycled dungeon music, which, honestly, I wouldn't blame them. There's probably a ton of dungeons. Not every single one can have completely original. Oh, wait a minute! Could it be? No, I think the, the the theming was different. I just I saw the uh, the crystal walls lining it. It was just like, wait a minute, is this like Jirachi Star Cave? Is that at all related? But yeah, it's very familiar music. Oh bah, we're not gonna bother with more. Item searching, we're gonna waste all our apples. Die. I wake you up, I murder you. And two items on this floor. We'll go pick this up. Damn it. My shit. And your shit too. I'm sorry, Silas. I just, I, my immediate reaction is no, I gotta get my ball back. That's my immediate reaction. Damn it. You're very rude, you know. Oh yeah, I need to turn that off. Die. Hey, it's a survivor. 
Uh, yeah, turn that off. We don't want you using that all the way to the bank. Two items on this floor. And one of them's gonna be a dead survivor. God, imagine if... <laughs> That's actually a borderline horrifying thought. Like... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Grimdark version. Where every time you defeat a Pokemon, their body lingers on the floor. Just a little extreme there, brain. It's like that one meme. It's just like, Could you back, could you back there, lighten up, please? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I got poisoned. At least, none of the traps have been horrible just yet. Bob- <laughs> uh, I don't care for you to join, but I do want your box. Hmm. Recruitment? No. Box? Yeah. Stealth Rock. I don't know what it does in this version. Maybe it's poison with extra steps. Uh-huh. Get it? How dare you. Wait, I swear I've heard this song before. Maybe it's a remix? I just don't know. Remember to drink at thy tea. I don't care about one item on a single floor. Let's go. Save our apples. Ooh, palette swap. This is some mother. Die. But yeah, the color of this floor is very nice. Is this a revival seed? It's a blast seed. Interesting. How dare you? Level up time! Great, I leveled up! Good for you, shiny. Good for you. Are you thinking of the waterfall dungeon? Maybe? I just, I know that I've heard a, like, similar track to this theme. But I just, I can't place it. It could be waterfall. That's one item out of two. Yeah, let's go ahead and bounce. Twelve! There's a fucking monster house in this place. I have... I'm gonna have to be careful. But yeah, every single time, I'm gonna have my... Brain ready to have Shane run the other way. Uh, not Shane, Silas. I'm a dumb. I, I, I'm misnaming my beloved partner. My poor boyfriend. Now he's poisoned. God damn it. Ma the personality quiz, maybe. It does kind of have... No, I, it's definitely a dungeon theme, I'm... Then again, it kind of does have the motif of the quiz, don't it? Man, imagine if Monster Houses... Oh, never mind. It's just a Kecleon shop. I'm not here to buy anything. I just wanted to avoid a shop. But okay. I thought it was like 12 items. This is totally gonna be a nightmare. No, it's just, it's a Kecleon shop. It's a friendly. Kecleon there with all his, his all his keckles. It wasn't a monster house. It was a friend house, goddammit. I feel like protect should be illegal in seven states. You fool, my ally has non-traitor. He won't attack me. 
have to be his minder. But yeah, when I saw the sheer amount of items on the floor, I was kind of scared there for a moment. Total items on this floor, too. I have to say it out loud or I'll forget because I'm a moron. Like, seriously. Sometimes I am thinking of a thing right here, right now, and it just vanishes from my mind. I need to be very conscious of my self. Well, at least it's safe. No monster house on that floor. Exactly. Because I was prepared to go to war against a monster house for the items. I am not, however, prepared to go to war against a Kecleon for items. I'm never gonna do it. I'm never gonna steal from a Kecleon. I'm not a fool. Die. Raise your defense all you want. You're still gonna fucking die. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Five items on this floor. Then again, it's kind of mean because that one monster house happened like, in a room with a single gummy and the exit. And that's like it. That was all that was in there. And it spawned like ten monsters. And they were some chunky boys at that. You leave him alone. Haha, <laughs> you almost broke the 200 damage threshold there, Silas. Keep denting these steel types, they deserve it. Pokemon Racism! <laughs> like, it must suck on some level for, like, bigotry to exist in the Pokemon world because you have type racism. And then you have, like, specific Pokemon racism. They're like, ah, those Sneasels, they're all just a bunch of thieves. Ah, Zoroa, they're just a bunch of liars. No, Golem, we are not taking you through this dungeon. Level up time. Like, imagine being a Pokemon that, like, not, not only has, like, a type prejudice against it. Oh boy, more apples. But also, like, their specific species also has prejudice against them. Now, Brain went, what would the racist tropes for each Pokemon be? I don't know why Brain just got sucked down this weird rabbit hole, but we are here now, and we're all gonna suffer. We found a hard box. Here we go again on the Pokemon racism. It's not my fault. I do not control Brain. Is this the deepest part of the caverns? Hey, Neon over there! Look at these three crystals, they're huge! They're in different colors, too. Clearly they stand out from other crystals. On the way here, we didn't see anything out of the ordinary. So I think these three crystals are clues, Neon. They must be keeping a secret. It makes sense. I feel the same way. On the journey to Fogbound Lake, where we met Yuxi. We had to awaken the fog monster. Watch out! Step back, everyone! It's gonna explode! Groudon Stone statue held the secret. And then on the way to the underground lake when we met Mesprit, we had to drown ourselves in sand. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! The quicksand pools allowed passage to the underground lake. Could this place lead to Azelf's Lake? It should be like that. those other two places. There should also be a secret here. Ah, the crystal changes color when you touch it! This crystal changes color when you touch it, too. 
This might have something to do with solving this place's secret. Try touching them for yourself, Neon. The color does change when I touch it, and it can change into a variety of colors. Three crystals? Changing colors. What could this all mean? Oh boy, memory time. Uh, it's starting again. My dimensional scream. I see. Of the three spiritual elements of knowledge, emotion, and willpower, Azelf is the being of willpower. Willpower is the motivation that drives us. It's a unifying power. To unify is to make one. So if the colors of the crystals were made one, the path should reveal itself. What is the color of Azelf's spirit? That is the question. Azelf lives at Crystal Lake. Then Azelf's spirit must be affected by the crystals. Hello, hello. We are solving dungeon puzzles. It would actually be interesting if we could actually, like, solve the puzzles and not just have it be a narrative thing, but that's just me. That was... Unlike my earlier experiences, all I heard was a voice. That happened like three times now. But I suppose you mean this is unlike the other ones because usually if I hear a voice, it's because... Well, actually, no. Kind of. It's been all over the place. My me. No, that's wrong. This... This happened once before. It was... It was that Groudon statue. I heard only a voice that time, too. But why does that happen? Why did I hear only a voice then, and now? Hey, what's the matter, Neon? Oh, did you have another vision? Did another dimensional scream come to you? I knew it! So what did you see? According to that voice, Azelf is the being of willpower. The voice said the crystals should all be made one color, make the crystals one color. That's it! I need to match the color! These three crystals need to be all the same color! I got... To be fair to Zorua Neon, they do not have memory of playing a bunch of video games where this is a basic bitch puzzle. <laughs> Me, playing video games, I know this puzzle in and out. I guess you have an idea what to do. Now, what's the color supposed to be? The color of willpower. That must mean the color of Azelf's spirit. Azelf lives at Crystal Lake. Crystal Cave and Crystal Lake. Is Azelf's spirit as clear as crystal? Or no, could it be the color of cold water? I guess you really have an idea about what to do. Okay, I'll leave it to you, Neon. See if you can solve the secret of the three crystals. Ah, we do get to solve it. We get to do a puzzle. We get to do a puzzle. We get to do a puzzle. Yeah! Makes enemies pause. I'm not, that's not going to be helpful to me, I don't think. Open up our treasury. Our treasure. Our treasure. Our store. And now we'll save. Because it's either going to be like... Yeah, like I said. Let's see. Let's try blue. <laughs> the game just told it to me. I only ever played Explorers of Time. Is this the same game? This is Explorers of Sky, which is the third major version of the Explorers games. I forget what it adds and changes, except like the Spinda Cafe and stuff. But this is also a ROM hack mod called Expanded Sky, which adds in a few uh, quality of life things, as well as an expanded roster of starter Pokemon to choose from. That's why I'm playing a Zorua in this game when it didn't exist at the time of Explorers release. Wah, a Tremor! It's dangerous, Neon, let's back off! Did we get it wrong? Or did we get it right? Utterly horrifying. Ah, oh, we got it super right. Wow, what is this? There's a big jagged opening in the middle. 
do you think that we should go through there? Maybe that leads to Azov's lake. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, as a reminder to all viewers, the direct link to Expanded Sky, the raw Mac mod that I am playing, it, the link to it can be found in the description of the YouTube streams and videos of this here game. Because crediting good work is good work. Those three crystals were the key, Neon. They opened a path that may lead to a time gear. Let's go, Neon. Onward to Azelf's Lake. But what if we are the reason that they get stolen? All right, four items. Get blasted, idiot. All right, two items have already been found. Ah, three items have been found. And they're all mine. I'm not going to bother looking for the fourth one. Two items on this floor. The music here is pretty nice. It kind of alternates between... Oh, you bastard. Kind of alternates between... Uh, kind of mystical and weird. With, like, kind of a calming, pseudo-cheerful tune. Either way, I really like it. I mean, I just love the music in these games. It's just so good. Now I'm just imagining that, like, in-universe, like, the music to the dungeons play while you're in the dungeons. And everyone just accepts that. Two items are on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Now we should probably go up. A faux seal orb. Like, I guess that wouldn't be bad to, like... I prefer roar anyway. It's a TM. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Because you're grass and this is a crystal lake. Idiot. Don't you know about, like, the biomes of the world? You, you sentient shrubbery. Go back to... Why is there a conga line of hell? Dang it. I don't want to turn my camera to face him every single time I want to throw a rock. Everybody do the flop! You know it'd be evil if they spawned you in a monster house. I don't think that should be possible just because any, like, game designer would understand that would be terrible. A horrible, horrible thing. But you never know. You never can tell, can you? Yeah, let's just move along, not use up all our apples. Items on the floor. I'm gonna shrub you. Get 69, idiot. Excellent, I leveled up. I leveled up for the good boy. Why are there so many of these plant people down here in the Crystal Lands? Now you, you kind of make more sense. You're not really crystal like box. I got a box. It's a hard box, which could be a euphemism, but we're not going to address that directly. Hey, it's also a bag on. Like that jerk who was mean to... Son of a bitch. Was mean to poor Bidoof in the special episode. Three items on the floor. Be gone, leaf person. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. Get rocked, idiot. I- Haha, <laughs> you missed! You headbutt me, and you missed! I must have used a Zorua illusion to elude you, you idiot! No, we're not gonna bring you along. This is a story mission. There's probably gonna be a boss at the end of here. We're probably gonna fucking die. I don't need you eating up my reviver seeds. I should prob- that's the main problem with this, like, oh no, that's bad, that's pursuit, I'm gonna die. But if I one-shot you, then I don't die. But yeah, that's, uh, that is my one, like, complacent gaming syndrome thing with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, is that I never bring, like, non-story partners with me. 
The only exception was, like, Absol from Rescue Team. It's mostly because I'm just like, eh, I don't really, I'm not really attached to any of these Pokemon. Ah, shit, I'm frozen solid. But yeah, like, I never really bothered to level up or bring other Pokemon with me in these games, because I'm just like, it's just me and my partner. We're the only ones that matter. We're the protagonists. So that's probably, that could potentially bite me in the ass later. But I, I, like, I like the less clutter of just having two characters. Especially if I ever, like, want to do an escort mission. Because then I don't have to too, 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 too worry about things. It's just easier to maneuver. I have less to worry about. You, you son of a bitch. But yeah, I have, like, less to worry about. You are very mean. Why aren't you dying? You took lots of damage. Go to hell, cat man. But yeah, just in the end, for some reason... Can a rock hit you? Rocks go through protect? That's funny. Rocks go through protect. That's cool. very mean. Will you please die? <laughs> please die. Please die. Please let there be a reset tile. Yes. Good thing I didn't stop. What? If a Pokemon eats a violent seed, its attack and special boost it. Did I never actually find a violent seed on the floor this entire time? And I've only been getting them from stores and rewards? Is that what happened? Because I have a ton of violent seeds in storage. Why did it give me the tutorialization? Three items on this floor. Level up time. Hell yeah. I'll blast you. I'll throw a rock at you. I'll leer and scratch at you. Get murdered, idiot. Oh no, your belly is empty. Eat your friend. We're team emergency food. We're very scared when we go on missions with anybody else. And again, that's basically the Wurmple other guy team, isn't it? Oh no, Revivers, Reviser Seed. Oh no, I, I'm scared to have that in my inventory. Because, like, what if I die and I... Uh, please tell me that, like, Reviser Seeds only take effect if I have no Reviver Seeds in me. Uh, and after revive, uh, Let's see. An item that revives a fainted Pokemon, right? It can be used only by Item Master IQ skill. It's a look-like item. So, like, I don't want to get rid of it because I can trade it in at the recycle shop, but I already have a lot of items. But at the same time, it's an item that I'm... Or can you even do that? I don't think I can give my ore in berries at the recycle shop unless I already did that. I forget. I'm a forgetful bitch. My memory is but pudding. How dare you. Now die. You can. Good, good. Because I didn't want to state it like affirmatively. <gasps> Black gummy. I'm going to get so drunk on you when we get back. Hello, Glaley. Die. Haha, <laughs> your, your, your protect failed. You're an idiot. Die, Glammeow. Oh, hey, another defense scarf. And just iron thorns, so that leaves one unknown item left, which, if we find the stairs, we leave. That's my modus. If we find the other item, goodly do. If we don't, we leave. That's just how it goes. This is a long ass tunnel. Why does it exist? 
Fucking tunnels, how do they work? It wasted so much of my belly power. Three items on the floor. Son of a bitch. Now there's two items on the floor. And we're getting dizzy from hunger. I think we have a decent amount of, like, uh, apples. Right? Well, it looks like I ate a bunch of apples already. I probably should have brought more. Hmm. We'll quickly check around. Maybe find more items. But uh, we're prop nah, that's going too far. Die, Glamiao. Stop trying to charm me. Don't you know I only have eyes for Silas? Hero partner for life. And an XI seed. I keep forgetting what that does. I think it's just like you can see everything. You can see through the eyes of God. Just an orange berry. You know, it'd be kind of, it would kind of suck for me to live in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world because they're supposed to be pronounced or and berries, but I keep pronouncing them or in, even though that's the evil version. Get rocked, idiot. Yeah, I don't know why I just go Orin, even though I don't know. My brain is just like, oh, that's a normal way you say it. Oh, it's an apple, yay, motherfucker! Ah, damn it. Can't wait to get Trap Avoider for you. Or for me. Why do dungeons even have sleeping gas? What is the purpose here? Aside to get people killed. Oh, it's an Absol! What the fuck? What is your ability that's doing that? A nifty box. Dang it, well, at least I have rocks. 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 Your protect's gonna go away eventually, little boy. I'm trying to remember what orange berries are based off of. Huh. Like blueberries? Because I know that, like... ba 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 Brain. Trying to think. Because I know that, like. These berries are, like, from the main games. Ish, I think. I do find it kind of funny that, like, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games now, I feel, are more associated with the berries than the main games. Granted, they appear more in these games than in the main games, it feels like. I wonder, is Azelf going to fight us because he mistakes us for thieves? Or are we going to get here right as it happened? Hey! Look, Neon, it's a lake! Incredible! Look at all those crystals emerging from the lake's surface! And the glowy light! Is this lake where Azelf lives? Hey, Neon! Look over there! Look in the middle of the lake! Where it's li like where it's like an island. I think I see someone. Let's go! Hey, what's happening here? That's... that's Grovile! Uh, uh. Now I'll take it. The Time Gear. No, you can't take it. Never! This is... This is what I saw in my vision during the Dimensional Scream! The vision I saw then... 
It was an event in the future after all. Who's that over there? Azelf? If it is, Azelf's in trouble. Let's go help. Hurry! Now, sunk down there, that is the time gear, isn't it? Fine then, Azelf, wasn't it? I must apologize, but I must take that time gear. Uh, wait! Hold it, Grovile. You know my name. Grovile the Thief. I heard from Euxie and Mesopret that you were coming. It would have been better if I just knocked you out directly. But I also thought I could possibly lose. So I set up a failsafe system. What? What did you do? What? Tremors? This... Uh, the lake is covered in crystals. There's no way of getting to the time gear! Grovile, the time gear. You'll never get it now. Even in exchange for my life, you'll never... You! I mean to have it. And I will get it! I need the time gear. Even if it means eliminating you, Azelf. Stop! You're not stealing another time gear, Grovile. I have no quarrel with you. Out of the way! No, I won't move! Are you serious? Then if you won't stand aside, you leave me no choice! I'll knock you out first! Just try and stop me! Boss fight time! Alright, first things first. Uh, we activate the Endure Counter. Do I have anything that will, like, freeze you? I don't think so. Nope, I do. I think I have, like, the orb, but that's it. Pursuit! Well, that's not good at all. Alright, but I... Silas, for the love of God, would you be smart and use your, like, setup? Silas, why? Silas, why? Thank- dang it. Exceed. I, I, I didn't even need the exceed in the end. <laughs> Never mind, we failed. Ah! 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 Get out of the way! I, I can't talk. But I won't step aside. You refuse. Then you leave me no choice. D no! Silas is in serious trouble, but I can't move. Uh. This is all for the time gear. Forgive me! Wah! Stop! Gah! Dusknor! Are you alright, Silas? Please, let me handle this. Right. You! It's been too long. It wasn't easy finding you, Grovile. W what was that? The Great Dusknor knows Grovile? Gah, even here. You chased me even here! You're tenacious, all right. You cling to me beyond expectation. Grovile, you're not getting away this time. Dusk Noir, I'm surprised to see you in this world, but I'm ready. So you'll fight? Then so be it. But can you win against me? Grovile vanished? That blasted Grovile. He never intended to fight me at all. There's no escaping me! Great Dustnor vanished too? What just happened? I don't understand. Uh, trying to move, but I can't. I can't. Feeling faint. He there! They are! Hey, hey! Come on, hurry! 
Oh, golly, they're down. Hey, hey, are you all right? They're badly hurt. Hurry, we need to get them back to the guild for treatment. All right. At least we held them off long enough. The clouds parted over the crystal crossing and the vicinities of the forest area. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. Man, this grow vial is just getting away, ain't he? Oh, are you awake? They didn't even have, they don't even have an infirmary. They just throw us to our beds. Where? You're in your room at the guild. You were both hurt. You've been sleeping all this time. Are you all right, Neon? <sighs> Am I glad to hear it? I remember passing out at Crystal Lake. It seems like I can speak again. Oh, what about Azelf? Is Azelf okay? He's fine. Silas, compared to you two, his injuries weren't that severe. He regained consciousness earlier. He's in the guild now. Oh, excellent. I'm glad you're okay too, Silas and Neon. I should let the guild know you're awake. <laughs> That's when we'll do it. <laughs> Everyone, they're awake. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> charged. <laughs> Really? Awesome! Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news! Oof, I'm mighty glad. If anything would have happened to you all, I... I... Ooh. You guys are getting so emotional about this. Oh, that's right! There's something that I need to share with everyone. Hey, hey! And what would that be? Yeah, what is it? What? What did you say? You're saying that the Great Dusk Nong Grovile... They may have known each other from before this time. Yes, it sounded that way when they were getting ready to fight. Well then, what became of Dusk Noir? Well, Grovile escaped. I think he went off in pursuit. What? The emergency siren! Hey, Diglett! What's the matter? It's an alert for Magnemite. I'm told it's an emergency call sent out by Officer Magnazone. Deputy Magnemite, please shout out your message down this to the Sentry Post. Please speak clearly. Can you hear me? This is an important announcement from Officer Magnazone. Everyone, please gather at the main square in Treasure Town. We will have a major announcement to make to everyone. All Pokemon in the area have been called for this town meeting, not just those in the guild. That is all. We hope for your cooperation. Thank you. Let me guess. Grovile actually got caught? What's happening now? An important announcement? What might it be? Hey, hey, no point in wondering. Let's go get the answer. Hey, hey, let's get a move on to Treasure Town's main square. Chapter 13, Dusk Noir's Secret. Oh, look, the guild members. Hey, even uh, Yuxi and Mesprit. So the guild's Pokemon were even called. For them to be called, something serious must be happening. Azelf, Yuxi, Mesprit. Are you all right? You're not hurt? Yep, I'm okay. The time gear? It's in Crystal Lake. It will be safe there without your protection? It can't be stolen? Yep, it will be safe for now. The time gear is protected by an encasing cover of crystals. Stealing it won't be easy. Hey, Dustnor, sir! Ah, Silas and Neon. You are safe. I'm so relieved. Dust Noir, sir, I'm glad to see you're back too. Thank you for saving us. So, can you tell me what happened? What happened to Grovile? What became of him? I gave chase to Grovile, but he slipped away from me. Um, Dust Noir, sir? Back at Crystal Lake when you were fighting Grovile. Dust Noir, sir, you and Grovile seem to know each other. What was... If I may interrupt, the Great Dusk Noir plans to explain what he knows. And that topic will be included. And now everyone gather around, please. There's actually a lot of Pokemon here. Golly! I wonder what this is all could be about. Who knows? Don't ask me! I like the kind of idle chatter sound effects. Everyone is here. So I'd like to get this meeting started. Our topic, the rash of time gear thefts. Several time gears have been stolen by the Pokemon Grovile. In the regions where time gear has been stolen, the flow of time has come to a standstill. This is a serious problem, as I am sure you can guess. Grovile failed. 
failed to steal a time gear. This one was protected. Whoa! Isn't that all? Isn't that something? And the hero who protected it was the mighty Azelf. And the hero who saved Azelf and chased off Grovile. That would be the great Dusk Noir here. That's astounding. No wonder he's such a famous explorer. Marficer Magnazone, I'm sorry to interrupt. Perhaps I should explain from here. Of course, please take it from here. Everyone, while we should be happy that we protected the time gear this time, the fact is, Grovile remains at large. Therefore, we cannot afford to feel safe and secure. Grovile will most certainly make another attempt to steal the time gear. There is another matter that is tied to all of this. It is an extremely important matter that I must share with you. I would like to explain it to you now. First, earlier Silas asked me the following question. Did I know Grovile from before all this happened? That is correct. I do know Grovile from before all this. What? What I am about to say may be beyond your belief, but it also happens to be the truth. Furthermore, if what I'm about to reveal isn't stopped, calamity is certain. I therefore ask for your undivided attention. First, Grovile is... Grovile is a Pokemon that came here from the future. Future? Dad, what does he mean by from the future? I think he means from a place where things are yet to happen. But is something like that possible? A Pokemon coming from the future? Grovile, in the world of the future, he will be a notorious criminal. He has a large bounty on his head. To avoid capture in the future, he fled. And in fleeing, he escaped to this, the world of the past. After arriving in this time, Grovile plotted until he hit upon an utterly catastrophic plan. What is that? What was he planning? It was nothing less than causing the planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis? Yes. If a planet becomes paralyzed, all movement upon it ceases. When a time gear is removed, the flow of time slows in its region. As many more are taken, time slows in an ever larger area. Eventually, the planet's flow slows down so much that it stops entirely. Ultimately, the planet reaches a state of total paralysis. If the planet is paralyzed, what happens to this world? In a world where the planet has become paralyzed, no winds blow, the day never comes. Neither spring nor summer have ever come. It's a world of unrelenting darkness. It would be no exaggeration to call it the complete ruin of the world. The, the world's ruin? Is that what happens if the time gears are taken away? The time way, the way time has been going out of control lately. That too is caused by the thefts of the time gears. If the Time Gears continue to be stolen, this world will end in ruin. So that's what would happen. This is bad. We've got to do something. Hey, I have a question. There's something that I don't understand. Yes, what is it? I can I understand that we've got a big problem on our hands. But what I don't understand... Well, hey, it's about you, Dusk Noir, sir. Why do you know so much, Dusk Noir, sir? I mean... I know that the great Dusk Noir is knowledgeable and wise. And sure, I really ex respect you at all. But how would you know the future, no matter how knowledgeable you are? That's true. Come to think. Ah, uh, yes. What Corfish said makes perfect sense. Under normal circumstances, it's true. There is no way that I should know these things. So, why do I know these things? It's because... I, too, am a Pokemon from the future. What? Dusknor is another Pokemon from the future? 
by gosh, by golly. This is all so complicated. It's making my head spin. Yep, yep. My objective is to capture Grove Isle. It is for that reason that I came from the future. I needed to know as much as possible to ensure the capture of Grove Isle. I therefore studied everything I could about this world while in the future. That is why I know so much about this world. Why didn't you say anything before? I... I'm sorry. I have felt terrible not saying anything. I'm sincerely sorry for not revealing my identity. I am full of contrition. But what if I had been open about my identity from the start? What would have happened if I had said that I was from the future? Who would have taken me seriously? Uh. Also, I needed to avoid alerting Grovile to my presence. I decided that I would keep my identity hidden while I went about with my work. It makes sense. But it is also a fact that I have been deceiving you. For keeping silent about my identity, I sincerely apologize. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Please don't apologize. You can't blame yourself. You had no choice. I concur. Dusknor has done no wrong in my book. We should focus our anger on Grovile. We must somehow capture him. Yeah, we're in deep trouble if we let Grovile go on. We need to catch him before the world gets ruined. Dusknor, sir, I'll be happy to help. But me too. By golly, me too. Hey, hey, count me in. We will cooperate as well. I refuse to remain a victim. We won't let him steal another one. Everyone, thank you so much. We as Pokemon must all work as one. To capture Grovile. Then put an end to Grovile's calamitous plot. Yeah! Well, this is some neat music. Dusknor, sir. In order to obtain the time gear from Crystal Lake, Grovile knows that he has to defeat me. So if he's still after my time gear, Grovile will come after me. We could turn that against him. Mesprit Azelf and I can go to Crystal Lake. Then we can all spread rumors claiming that we have gone to seal the time gear so that it can never be taken. If we did that, do you think it would provoke Grovile to strike? I see. You're suggesting that we bait the trap. Yep. But that would mean exposing you to danger as the bait. I'd like nothing more. If that means stopping Grovile, we're ready to take that risk. Then I understand. Everyone, let me explain our plan. Please pay attention and do your part. First, I would like everyone to spread a rumor far and wide. Get the word out about the three Pokemon, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf. Spread word that the trio has returned to Crystal Lake to seal the time gear away. Please report. Please report. Please spread the rumor as much as possible. I see. So you want word of the Grovile's ears? That's correct. But Grovile won't be convinced by rumor alone. That is why I must ask the trio of Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf to do something. I must ask them to actually go to Crystal Lake. I understand. Then when Grovile shows up to find Azelf and the others, that's when we can catch him. I get it now! Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement! Arrest! Arrest! <laughs> He's so happy to begin arresting people. Hey, hey, I'm calling it! I'm going to be the one to catch Grovile! No, it is my duty to catch criminals. I don't want to get outdone by the others. Let's do our best too, Neon. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for your kind offers. But for the capture of Grovile, I would prefer to work alone. What? Why? Grovile will be extremely wary. Even if he were to realize that Azelf and the other two have truly gone to Crystal Lake, he will be cautious to the extreme. So if we were to lay a massive ambush for him at Crystal Lake, he will undoubtedly notice the unusual number of Pokémon in the area. I'm afraid Grovile will not be lured out by Azelf and the others that way. So I must apologize and insist upon capturing Grovile myself. Oh, I get it. 
That's too bad. I'm terribly sorry, Silas. This time I hope to capture Grovile without any mistakes. Please forgive my selfishness. That's how it stands, guild members. Up to now, we were capturing Grovile. Yumta! At least, that was the plan. This time, stay out of it. We'll provide support only as needed. Well, hey, hey. If that's what it takes. We have no choice. Is that an acceptable plan, Guildmaster? Yep, yep. Thank you for confirming that. Whew, he stayed awake, thank goodness. Thank you for hearing me out, everyone. I realize I am asking a huge favor, but please do your part in our plan. And let's capture Grovile using whatever means necessary. Yeah! And thus, Dusk Noir and the trio of Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf set off for Crystal Lake. Crystal Lake? This isn't Friday the 13th! What the hell? Well, it is Chapter the 13th. In the meantime, the other Pokémon busied themselves, spreading rumors that Azelf and the others were about to seal the Time Gear away. As for those Pokémon from Wigglytuff's guild... That's the current situation. Until everything is resolved, we ask that you go about your regular duties. Yes, we would like you to spread the rumor as much as possible, but not so much that it would make Grovile suspicious. Try to be natural. Go about your jobs in the usual manner. And, when possible, spread the rumor. That is what we would like you to do for at least the next few days. That is all. All right, everyone. Let's have another good day of work. Hooray! Oh, you two. Today, take jobs on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. That will do. The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. The special episode. Today's Oh My Gosh has been unlocked. To play a special episode, select it from the episode list on the top menu. If you'd like to play the special episode, save your progress and return to the menu. Neat. Well, there's nothing we can do but our usual job. <laughs> Let's see, do you have anything I care about? Magby, Rescue Rock, Protect Mask, Escape Sharp? Nothing here is interesting. I like to just look at them just in case. Rescue Rock. Nope, nothing here that's worthwhile to me. But I do believe that that will be it for now. We've been going for... Wow, we actually went longer than I superintended. My bad. A lot of story happened. That's what happened. But, yeah, a lot of story happened. We actually got to fight Grovile. In fact, I think we met and fought Grovile for the first time both in this singular stream. It feels like the story just ramped up there. Well, I'll be going and hit my pillow. Hope your rest goes well. And I should probably be doing the same soon as well, because we've been going for a long time. But yeah, we went on lots of explorations. We we fought Mesprit. Oops. And kind of aided in the stealing of that time gear. But then we saved another... Well, yeah, kind of saved another time gear, because if we weren't there, then Grovile would have struck down Azelf and gotten to the time gear. Things would be in a worse state, either way. But yes, next time we'll be streaming Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Expanded Sky will be Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Once again, extra special thanks to the people who helped create the Expanded Sky ROM hack mod. Once again, the link to that mod can be found in the description of the YouTube streams and YouTube videos of this here series. When's the next PM to stream? <laughs> I, I already said it, but I will say it again. This next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, you can find everything I do through my link tree. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. So if you want to watch edited content YouTube videos, my Neon Icy Wings YouTube channel is for you. If you want to watch me play games live, twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings or the Neon Icy Games YouTube channel. If you want to watch streams of the past, like my Mass Effect trilogy playthrough, my Rescue Team playthrough, you can go and watch them on, yes, the Neon Icy Games YouTube channel. 
And then, if you want other things from me, like art, similar to my little character in the corner, you can follow me on various different social medias, like Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, t Tumblr, tons of places, which all those links can be found in my link tree. I've been drawing a lot of Pokemon lately, and I hope to draw more. Then, if you want even more from me, I do some writing, and links to my writing can also be found in my link tree. And if you're super duper generous, you can find my Patreon as a tip jaw through my link tree. So if you want to throw a dollar do my way to ease the evils of the world, you can do that too. Good night, Neon. Let's make tomorrow a good day, indeed. Once again, thank you very much, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.